Happy Turnabout Tuesday! Hello, everybody! Hello, hello! Welcome to more Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is the name of the game. Episode 2, Turnabout Corner. I will play it for you, and it will be awesome. I'm sure of it. I totally forgot what happened at the beginning, even though I know what cutscene played. I assume a man died. Or a woman, I don't know. And I bet someone did it. I bet someone did him in, like in a, like in a, some type of murder situation, you know? I would assume so. Hello, everybody. How is it going? Hello, Scuzz. Thank you for the big raid, Scuzz, and happy birthday, Scuzz. We all have to say happy birthday to Scuzz right now. Happy birthday. Scuzzer birthday day. Really? Scuzzer birthday day? Is, is, isn't that... Whatever, it reads weird. Or Mod Supremacy Day is a day celebrated in Ouija the Gods Twitch chat on the 4th of April. The purpose of this holiday is to give thanks to Scuster for diligently moderating the chat and banning people who attempt to antagonize the chat or spoil any game. Thank you for doing that, and thank you very much for the, I'm looking for it, Brightbird gifted tier one sub. Wow, and thank you, uh, guy for the five gifted tier one subs. That is very generous and kind, thank you. Uh, wait a second, what did this say? From Among Us to Ace Attorney, what has been the best game, the worst game? Ace Attorney, pretty fun. Pretty funny, I should say. Uh, they're all good. Every game that I've ever played is a good game. I will have you know, that's my opinion. It's called not being a contrarian. You should be, uh, you should be doing it sometimes, chat. It's Rice Boy! Thank you for the prime, it's Rice Boy. Holy crap, Lewis, that's like two months more than three years. That is an absurdly long time, thank you. I think I can get a new sub badge also for, I think it's like 40 months or something like that. I don't remember, but uh, I'll have to check in on that and maybe do something. I need to also begin drinking. Oh yeah, that's great. That's just great, let's do that right now. Cheers. Did I tell you about the dumb shit that will make it so I probably never beat Eastward? Every time you boot it up, they make you watch a five-minute cutscene. I... that is news to me. I don't know anything about that game. But if that is the case, that is quite stupid. I don't know why they would put that in the game. I would, uh, not like it, I don't think. I need to make a tweet! I have made a tweet. The tweet has been made. I need to make a Discord community announcement server channel post in the announcement posting channel. It's done. I've done it. And now that all the gamers have been notified for this Turnabout Tuesday, it is time to continue the drinking. We need a few more. I need to stall for just a little bit longer, and so I will. Here I am doing exactly that. The Radical Capital. Thank you for the 100 bits. I'm extremely hyped for the new, or for the few this trilogy. Bro, it's so good. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I like the first one. I thought episode one was fun. Do I have the highest month subbed, or is Alpharan slightly ahead of me now? I don't know. I don't even know if there's a way to check that. Uh, but I am not sure. Okay. Just a few more. Just a few more drinks. I'm getting spoiled really hard by looking at this guy that I haven't met yet. I assume he is, uh... He looks kind of evil. He looks like the son of that evil guy, and I bet he's not happy with me. Zephyr wins 488. Thank you for the tier one a sub. Just in time. Yes, I haven't even pressed the button yet because I'm still in the stalling phase and the drinking phase. And so now I will continue doing that right now. Cheers. Mmm. Good room temperature Svedka. Right there. <laughs> Note Cade. Thank you, Note Cade, for gifting a tier one sub. Thank you. That's like my name, almost. Except for a note. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I still need to know who the mom is. Who did Phoenix fuck? How did this happen? I don't understand. I, like, this is eating away at me. It better tell me by the end of the game or I'm gonna be really, really mad. Okay. God bless Hot Dad Phoenix. I do think his design, you know, I thought it was kind of scuffed and stupid, but he actually does look kind of cool. 
I like it. I like the hat. I would buy that hat and maybe even wear it too. <laughs> Wait, how old is she? Wasn't she 16? That means this is like, how old am I? How old is Apollo? Am I 21? That sounds right. Uh, thank you, VHS for Life 97, for 100 biddies. Saying, if I can read it, okay, well, that's gonna have to wait, because Prelio 7 with 10 gifted tier 1 subs. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh god, you're getting Donut Walled. How's everyone's Trial Tuesday going? It's actually Turnabout Tuesday, but it's going pretty good, so, uh, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. Now I need to do even more drinking really fast. Hang on. Okay. I need my lawyer juice. I got it. It keeps me loose. It keeps me fast. It keeps me on my feet. Cheers. <coughs> I might not even be in the courtroom today. I don't know how long this investigation is going to take, but uh, we will see. Okay. I want to continue, even though... Should I just start from the episode beginning? I, I want to refresh her on what the hell happened, and I only made, like, a couple seconds of progress last time. Yeah, well, you know what? Let's just... No! That's the wrong one! Oops. No, 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 no. That's okay. No, music, you need to stop also. Uh, we are off to a great start. Now, let me turn down blue stacks because the audio has reset itself, and it's very, very loud, and I don't know why it did that, but I don't like it. How do I... No, make it stop. I don't care, Judge. Your Honor, once you say... No, return to the title, please. Uh, yes. Good. No, we're not gonna do the trial again. That's okay. But I will click on this. Now, show me that cutscene. I totally forgot what happened in this cutscene. And I feel like it's gonna be important. Look at the graphics. Look at the power of the Nintendo DS. As long as we draw breath, the wheel of fate turns. That is really loud. Whammo! Is that Phoenix? That's that's little daughter and a dog. Who the hell is he? I don't even know. And down, down boy, down. Spinning big crimes. I didn't read it all. And when the wheel stops, dot dot dot. <laughs> wow! Those are graphics, all right. You die! Was that Larry Butts? Ooh, that better not have been Larry Butts, but it kind of looked like it. June 15th, 9, 12 a.m., Wright & Co. Law Offices. Two months have passed since Mr. Gavin's arrest. My first trial, and I lost both my mentor and my job. Things are not going well. Yeah, I'll admit it. I was screwed. But yeah, thanks a lot, Phoenix. You're the one that roped me into this, you asshole. But even when I hit bottom, I told myself I'd never come here. Honest. And here I am. Daughter! Here being the legendary Wright & Co. Law Offices. Okay, Justice, time to stop trembling. Ah, you must be here for the interview right this way. Huh? d d d d, -d daughter Hello there. Yeah, you're welcome here. What's with this girl? Well, now, shall we begin? Begin? What? Right, first things first, any special talents? Er, my talents? Yeah, I'm really good at practicing law. And skipping over all this dialogue, so you already read it. Defending an unusual talent, but it'll do. With a little jazzing up, of course. You think so? Uh, Space Cat is bored. Thank you for gifting a tier one sub saying Ouija... Oh god, what is that one? It's Ouija Dizzy, that's the one. I totally didn't need to mouse over my own emote to remember what it's specifically called. Why would I do that? I made the thing. Huh? Go ahead, show me, defend! Just give it all you've got, don't hold back now! What are you talking about? I can't just defend here! First lesson, a professional can perform anywhere. Thanks. We want people to be laughing with us, not at us! Thanks. I, 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 as a streamer, relate to that a lot. But I'm not sure why they should be laughing at all! Arigato! Thank you so much, Arigato, for the... Five! I almost said ten, but that's not what that number is. Five! Gifted tier one sub. Dude, I have like a lot of drinks right now. God damn. Hang on, hang on. I'm making my way towards it. What? What exactly do you think you came here to do? What do you mean? Right in Co. Law Offices. And who is Co. exactly? Where's Edgeworth? Where's Dick? Good God, I miss Dick. I want him back so badly. He's like the best guy. Excuse me. But do you know where you are? Huh? The Wright & Co. Law Office is right. Oh. I was afraid of that. Don't worry, you're not the first. 
Look what's going on here! Who are you? I came here to meet with the person in charge. Well, you've apparently made no fewer than two mistakes, mistakes. But I got a call from Mr. Wright this morning. Perhaps you should go read the sign out in front again? What's there to read? Look, it says right here. Oh. Why does it say Wright Talent Agency? Welcome to the Wright Talent Agency, where you've always got to... You've always... Fuck! Where you've always come to the right place! That's a pun, baby! Boom! I'm Trucy Wright, CEO. I'm a magician. Is that legal? How can you be a CEO at 15 years old? Uh, it all came flooding back, the trial. That girl. She's very talented. She's magic. Hello, sir. Please pick a card. Yeah, I remember. I remember. That was the girl from the thing? Oh my god. That makes total sense. Wow. Trucy Wright. Here, check out our fly. I hope she actually does spirit magic at me. That made the last game just so much easier. Do, are there Cyclops in this game? Don't answer that. I'm just like thinking out loud. Maybe. They gotta be, right? That's like, it's a staple. It's really important. Maybe she's not even magic at all. I don't remember. Uh, I have, do, look at this. How do I present this? I have to probably click on the uh, present button. What do you think of my attorney's badge, huh? No, don't inspect it. That's okay. Just present it. The big button that says present is still up there. Oh, I've seen one of those before. That's an attorney's badge. It looks just like the one daddy used to have. Now, if I take this badge and do this and this, see, it's gone. What the fuck? Hey, my badge. What did you do with my badge? No need to worry. Just look in your pocket. What? No way, my pocket. Wait a second. There's something in there. It's a flyer for your agency. Now give me my badge back. And here's your badge. You can have it back. Now, that's quite the trick. That's the last time I let her touch anything of mine, period. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be true, though, on account of all the things we are inevitably going to have to produce to our sidekick to make the game progress. Let us uh, look around at the spaghetti. Tell me about the spaghetti. Whoa, that fork is floating. Not. Why do you have a plate of plastic spaghetti here? That right there is the whole reason I became a magician. I just really like spaghetti, you see. Uh, I need to make a drink. Similar to the bean drink, whenever they say spaghetti, that has to be a drink too. I, don't, I can't believe that wasn't a rule already. Do I also drink for every dot, 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 not? I probably should. Like, that's, that's a slam dunk one too. Let's add that one to the list. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. It do look like good spaghetti though. Now it's got me craving spaghetti. Can we just, I, I wanna turn off the stream and go make some spaghetti, but I, I will resist the urge right now, maybe after. That's like a Bo Rat reference. Bo Rat was the first person to say not at the end of a sentence. Making it uh, one of the most successful references of all time, actually. Little known fact. <laughs> oh, hey, update, by the way, uh, on my whole sinus situation, uh, I have a staph infection in my nose, and that sucks. I hope I don't, like, die, but I had my final ENT appointment uh, today. And I'm on medication to fix it, and I hope it gets fixed, and then perhaps the uh, post-nasal drip issue will become better. Because the infection is making it bad right now, but that's okay. It's- it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'm on, uh, I had to order from a special pharmacy, because this is like some weirdo medicine. But I have these little pills, and I break them open, and I dump them into my sinus rinse, uh, my little, like, uh, what do you even call it? I don't know. It's like a little bottle you put up your nose and you squeeze water through one nostril and it comes out the other. Fantastic, by the way. Highly recommend you try it. It sounds awful, but it's 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 life changing. It really helps a lot, especially if you have bad nose like me. Yeah, a neti pot. It's like a neti bottle. Uh, I have to put that up my nose. It's like a yeah. It, the powder goes in the water in my nose to attack the thing directly. You see. Streamer snorting medicine, this is true. Hello, hacker. Ouija the God? That's me! That is actually my name this time. I'm glad that we have all finally learned it, and we're never gonna call me something that I'm not, because, like, why would you do that? That's just, there's no need to do so. Alrighty. Why do you like spaghetti so much? Do tell me about your life story. I saw a plate just like that in a restaurant once. The floating fork looks so real. That's when I knew. Someday I'd make magic more amazing than that spaghetti. That's awesome. Wait a second. 
Did Max a million Galactica hook up with Maya and then she tried to pass it off like it was Phoenix's kid? Have I just seen 10 layers deep and now I know the entire game? I know the big twist at the very end of the trilogy. I'm calling it. I'm calling my shot right now. That's exactly what happened. That's, that's precisely how it went down. And if you don't think so, you're probably just delusional. Uh, tell me about the little guillotine. For fingers, there are all sorts of strange paraphernalia sitting on top of the piano. Those are my magic props. Practice, practice, practice. A professional never leaves their weapons far from reach. But you can't play the piano with all this junk on it. No, no, no one plays here anyway. And the neighbors complain. I guess Mr. Wright really can't play. Well, that's, <laughs> that's very ironic. Why do we even have this thing then? What's the point if he's not even a good player and he's not gonna participate at all? Thank you, Sergeant Guy, for the tier one subscription, 11 months. That's a long time. You have been warned. I will raid you in approximately an hour. Well, I'll be here, so I look forward to it. Tell me about the teapot. That table doesn't look very sturdy. You've never seen one of these? It's a magic table. So, like, you make this teapot disappear? So you might think, but that's not it. Before your very eyes, the contents of the pot change from Earl Grey to d d d to I, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Darjeeling? Maybe. Kind of hard to see the difference, I think, but I believe you. Uh, tell me about the box. A strange split box leers at me from the wall. Um, is this one of those boxes for cutting people in half? We are off to a bad start for being an ace investigator. Apollo, take a wild guess. What do you think? Is it? Is it really? No, I think they're just using it to like store furniture inside or something. That's right. This cabinet is used for an illusion called the zigzag. I've seen one on TV, but why is one just sitting here in your office? It's like you're a magician or something. Oh, it's a little big for me, you see. So I'm using it as furniture. Well, I mean, that works out. Hats in the top, shirts in the middle, and pants down below. I think it's a nice touch, don't you? It's not exactly what I'd call a welcoming decor. But okay, there's your trademark hat. Tell me about the hat. A blue silk hat, just like the one Trucy is wearing. Oh, that's just for show. Don't wear it, please. Last thought from my mind, honest. I put it there so clients can see it and know who I am. Nothing says magician like a silk top hat. Yeah. She's got a point. Max Galactica ties into this somehow. I know it. I know it. I just, I know it. No, why? I'm, I'm done looking around here. I got to talk to the girl. Talk to girl. Talk. Tell me about the right talent agency. So, is this really a talent agency? I'm glad that I'm replaying this from the start of the chapter because I was, I totally forgot everything that happened after the trial ended. You bet. Daddy started it seven years ago when he quit law. Of course, we only have two people signed up right now. Who are they? Does that include you? Trucy Wright, magician extraordinaire. I've done a lot of stage shows, paid too. I am a professional by definition, you know. Er, right. Promise you'll come to one of my shows, okay? Let's see, lady, we just met. I don't really care about this, this. I wanna be a lawyer. Just show me your dad. Oh, and the other person our agency re represents is- Why am I even still here? Why am I having this conversation? You are not a law firm. I am going to see myself to the door, have a nice life, and that's it. That's the end of it. That's as much as we need to do. Phoenix Wright, pianist extraordinaire. Your dad, in other words. Didn't he say he couldn't play the piano? Our agency doesn't see that as a problem. Why, there are many magicians who can't do magic. At least you're optimistic, I'll give you that. Trucy Wright, who is your mom? Show me your mom. So you're his, er, uh, you're Phoenix Wright's daughter? That's right. After daddy quit law seven years ago, I promised I would keep him fed. So I'm kind of his sugar daddy. Get it? I don't like that. No. <laughs> Apollo says no. I'm in charge of this whole office too. Pretty amazing for a young lass of 15, wouldn't you agree? 15? Uh, how old is Mr. Wright? I, that's a good question. How old is he? It's, no, I mean, yeah, fine, save, whatever. I was trying to look at my evidence, but I can't do it right now. Return to, no! 
Daddy? Oh, he's 33 this year. Well, never mind. <laughs> Maybe if you just read the fucking dialogue, Cade! I'm sure there's a good explanation, I hope. Yeah, I think. You see, Apollo, when a man and a woman love each other very much, then... I mean, you know. Hmm? Tell me about Phoenix. Um, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because of that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? God damn it. Ooh, okay. There it is. So, uh, cheers for that one. That in classic that incident. I hate it when that incident happens to me. Really just, it takes the wind out of my sails. Great. It's repeat dialogue. Oh shit, it is. Did I drink it for it the first time? I'll choose to believe no. Eh, you know about that? Not the details. I remember the news though. It was a big deal. So I hear I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask Daddy about it next time I get a chance. Daddy, right. That reminds me about Mr. Wright. He gave me a call this morning to come in. Daddy's not here right now. He's in the hospital. The hospital? Yeah, he's on strict bed rest until he gets better. What? Okay. Which hospital is Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. Oh, the Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. Right, well, I'll be going now, and I'll, uh, give this showbiz gig some thought, okay? Wait, I'll go with you! He is my dad, after all. June 15th, 9.45 a.m. He's got the grape juice. He loves grape juice, but he doesn't even play piano, so I don't know why this is here. Oh, he's been hitting the sauce a little bit hard. I see that tucked away under there, Mr. Wright, you dog. So, this is Mr. Wright's hospital. No! <laughs> oh no I thought we were done with did this did I get to this point last time there's no way there is zero chance I would not remember him popping up I did ah jeez. man what a weird stream <laughs> visitors are you <laughs> uh yeah are you the doctor <laughs> yup dr. Hickfield's the name <laughs> Good morning, doctor. No! Oh, hiya there, Trucy. Cute as ever. What is he doing with his hand? Why is he making that motion with his hand, do you think? I don't know. Is... So, where's my dad? Oh, yeah, except he's gone for a morning checkup. Be back soon. How are you, Miss Trucy? Got any places you'd like examined? Ee hee? Ee hee? Doctor, I, I will literally strangle you right here in your own office. The nurse was looking for you. Please go away. Why, if it isn't the daddy-o, the cutest little thing in town. Hmm, hmm, guess I'll be off then. <laughs> Later, Trucy. Bye, Trucy. Wow, what an odd bird that guy was. Good morning. Didn't expect you so soon, Apollo. You called me, Mr. Wright. Uh, sup, dog? Did you know? I want you to get a good hard look at this. I'm an attorney. What's that? Looks strangely familiar. Are you... Stop. What are you... How could you not recognize an attorney's badge? It's been seven years, man. I've forgotten a lot of things. Don't tell me this is some foreshadowing towards amnesia. No way. I guess some seven years are longer than others. No, he's definitely got amnesia or something. This is not good. What happened? So, what happened? Why are you here? Who could have imagined it? Me, a victim of a hit and run. Oh, that did ha- Yeah, I saw it in the opening cutscene. A hit and- You were hit by a car? Oh, he tried to swerve. I'll give him that. Picture me tossed 30 feet through the air. Only stopping when my head hit the telephone pole. Jesus Christ. No wonder he's got amnesia. You hit a- you, you hit a telephone pole with your head? Are you okay? No, he went to the hospital and he's on strict bed rest. Thankfully, my only injury was a sprained ankle. How the fuck? What? He really is as lucky as they say. No kidding! No kidding at all. About Trucy. There's something that, well, it just doesn't sit right. I... Is that gonna come into play? He's watching the Steel Samurai in the background! I see it! Wait a second. Wow. Now that is a nice little wink to me, the player. There's something that, well, it just doesn't sit right. 
I just can't believe you have a daughter, Mr. Right? And, and she's so big. I mean, not like fat, but you know, like 15 years old, like aging. That sounded weird too. Oh, Trucy's still a child. No, I am well aware of that. Daddy, how many times do I have to remind you? I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> but you'll always be daddy's little baby girl to me, Trucy. <laughs> My foot, I'm not buying it. Oh, something you should know about Trucy. She's a magician, right? She told me. Not a mere stra stage magician. She's a genius. Tee hee, aw, daddy. <coughs> you'll soon come to appreciate her talent. We gotta break open some Cyclops, don't we? You could just tell me things instead of insinuating them. Mm, I, someone take a screenshot of this. This is the most important line of dialogue that has ever been said in any visual novel. In any single one. For the love of God. Please, Kyoko. God damn it, Kyoko. We don't have time for this. Just tell me what to do. If you know the answer, just tell me. I gotta blow my nose. I'm sorry. Ooh, disgusting. 10 out of 10. That was a 10 out of 10 nose blow. That brings uh, good luck to the rest of the stream. Uh, yes. Right? Talent agency? What happened? <coughs> Why did you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? No need to get prickly now. I'm not getting prickly. It's a pretty standard question. You called me. What do you want? Hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this. Huh? But didn't you come into the office of your own free will anyway? Well, yeah, of course. Help! We're in big trouble here at the office! The office big! I thought someone was dying. So you don't think this is big trouble? My talent agency represents only two people, and one of them is in the hospital. That's right, Daddy. How are we going to pay this month's rent and the groceries? Yeah, we do kind of need those. That's the problem with such a tight operation. I have an idea, and this might sound crazy. You should use all of your law practice to practice law, which makes a lot of money. Huh? I, I might sound crazy, Phoenix, but keep in mind, you do have a daughter to care for. So perhaps put aside whatever trauma you're dealing with and just get back in the courtroom. <laughs> it's a symbiotic relationship. When one of us falls, the other two must fall. Hey, this isn't exactly a suitable conversation to be having with a 15-year-old kid. In any case, if Apollo here can't help you, he can do it. Just move to a, a different country. Move to Japan or America. Like, they'll, they'll take in lawyers. It's fine. VHS for life 97. Thank you for 100 biddies. May really ate him out of house and home with Maya. I assume you meant really ate him out of house and home with burgers, huh? Probably. I would assume so. You'll have to transfer to a new school again. No, I can't. I only just made friends. How could you do this to me? To us, Polly? Wait, Polly? First of all, I am not a parrot. Second of all, we are not on nickname basis right now. On that note, how about you come work for us? I've got the perfect client for you already lined up. A client for me? You mean I get to do my job? I get to defend in court? Phoenix has been disbarred, then just unbar yourself. What do you, rebar, I mean. All right, I'll hear what you have to say. You got him, daddy, hook, line, and sinker. Ah ha ha, now it's time to reel him in. It's official, I'm scared. Tell me about the client. <laughs> Who is this client? Ah, yes, here, take a look at the map and I'll explain. Okay, that is a map. Last night, I, les I left the office just before 9 o'clock. Okay, write that down. 9 o'clock. I was going to uh, that Indo... No way. No way. I was going to that Indochine pasta joint. Al dentes. Al dentes! Now that's crazy. I play piano there, of course. That's when it happened. A car hit me. The car, it hit me. And I hit a telephone pole and zoomed away. Creepy, huh? Just a tad. It's almost as creepy as hearing you tell the story like it was no big deal. The car sped off in this direction. That way, towards Mr. Wright's office. So, good luck. What? You wanted a client, didn't you? Well, I'm your client. Find the guy who knocked me into that telephone pole. 
Whoa, whoa, hold on. First of all, you're still alive. So, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not a, also, I'm a defense attorney, not a detective. Let's go ahead and screenshot this one too, because I feel like this is gonna come up quite a bit. Don't worry, once you've found the guy, I intend to sue him. Then you can stick it to him in court. I'm not a prosecutor either, I literally, what? I'm sorry, but this is crazy. I'm going to leave you now, goodbye. Don't get so worked up, it was just a joke. I just, I just, I do a little trolling sometimes, Apollo. Huh? Oh, daddy, sorry, Apollo. He just loves jokes, you know. I've been in this man's brain for three games. I know the guy is into jokes. Even the ones that aren't very funny. I have been in this man's brain for three games. I, yes, the same thing I just said. Your real client should be stopping by the office any time now. The office? You mean the talent agency? No harm in going. It's not like I have anything else to do. One more thing. Do look into my accident too, would you? I bet it's very related to what's happening right now with the whole murder. I marked the scene of the tragedy. Fuck you, buddy! On this map. He's in my brain. He knows what's going on up here. It's right in front of this park. Should be easy to find. So, he's going to make me investigate this after all. So it wasn't a joke! Haha, <laughs> that was funny, but like, do it anyway though, or you're fired and you're not getting the client. Okay, fine, fine. I will. No! I must examine. Look at the TV show, I bet they say something. What's that on TV? Looks like some sort of action hero show. Oh, I know that one! That's the Sniffling Samurai?! His booger flick attack is a big hit with the grade school crowd. I had no idea you liked this stuff, Mr. Wright. Well, what else is there to do when you're stuck in bed? Besides, the episodes will just keep piling up if I don't keep up, you know. <laughs> That's so true. Absolutely true. Um, yeah, try not buying them. Now's the only time I get to watch and write up my reports. Your reports? It's a long story, like a lot of things, actually. The juice. Tell me about the juice. Ah, oh, daddy, you s Is it? Why would- Now, why would you be getting mad if it's just grape juice? You snuck some grape juice in again! The doctor said you weren't supposed to drink any- <clears throat> Grape juice. Trucy, look at the label. Oh. Deep sea mineral water. That's fine, I guess. I switched the labels. Don't tell Trucy, okay? What can I say? The man loves his <clears throat> grape juice. Right, right, right. Wink. Okay. I see. Examine. <coughs> it's a messy bed. Look how messy this is. You're just hopeless without me, aren't you, Daddy? Yikes. She's attempting to clean up. Look out. Ha ha ha, you got me, what can I say? I was raised in a barn. Try not to let word get out, Apollo, if you don't mind. Yeah, it might ruin your illustrious career pretending to play piano if people know that you have a messy bed. God forbid that happens. What's in the bag? Nothing, nothing important. Examine these ones. A swaying, spiraling stack of DVD cases. The Steel Samurai, the Nickel Samurai, the Pink Princess, the Zappy Samurai, Electric Bugaboo! They're all children's action hero shows. Yeah, this kid I know keeps sending them to me. <laughs> Wink. Who could that be? Huh? Like a niece or a nephew? Something like that. Wink. Quite the collection. This kid's parents must be really generous with their allowance. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. No, Apollo. Funny, Mr. Wright doesn't seem the type that kids would like. <laughs> Bruh, come on. It's, it's just, they're real, like, eh, you play the first game? Eh, you play the original trilogy? Oh, yeah, 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 I know you did. Oh, isn't that crazy? Let's go to the right talent agency right now. Here I go. <coughs> June 15th, 10.05 a.m., right talent agency. Hey, hey, hey! How long are you planning on making me wait, eh? Ah, oh, good morning. Hey there, Trucy doll. Sounds like your pops had a bit of a rough spot, eh? All's well that ends well, I guess. I mean, he was hit by a car and is in the hospital. This is our client? Hey, so this is that Apollo fellow, eh? Oh, uh, yes, the name's Apollo. 
Look at him there! Arms all crossed, like, ready to fight! I'm like a commentary YouTuber, what can I say? Yes, sir! You don't mean that literally, do you? Why does he got noodles on his head? This is a uh, 10 out of 10 character design, by the way. I don't think we can top noodles on top of the head guy. The boss told you what I need, right? Don't let me down now, Paulo. Don't worry about your defense, sir. I'm on it. Defense? Your noodle half cooked. It's too late for defense. My castle's been stormed. My keep's been kept. My noodle stand's been stolen. Noodles? Do you like noodles, sir? You know Mr. Eldoon from the noodle stand, don't you, Polly? No nicknames, please. And no, of course I don't know him. You know him these parts? Not really. Then you know the best noodles in town, Eldoon's noodles. I get it. It's like it's like Eldoon. Like yeah, that's like that like that's great, guys. That's why do they do this? I'm not complaining, but like why? I just don't understand how they came up with the idea. Okay, they all have to be really dumb puns. I love it. It makes me happy. Thank you for the 100 bitties Puka Dagger in the Japanese version. It is grape juice because grape juice is Shu Takumi's favorite drink. I see. Well, I mean, I like grape juice too. What can I say? Who doesn't? <coughs> My noodles. Uh, help me out here, Trucy doll. This is Mr. Guy Eldoon, our client. Guy Eldoon, huh? Maybe you can tell us what the problem is, Mr. Eldoon? What? Anything for you, Trucy doll. Okay, that was odd how that just happened. Who is this guy? So, you run a noodle stand, Mr. Eldoon! Guy Eldoon's the name, and noodles are my game! The secret's in the soup! I've been searching for the perfect soup for a year and a half! Oh, that's not that long, considering it's your game. My family's been noodle men for generations. <laughs> I'm a noodle man, personally. Uh, got a lot of expectation on my shoulders. 15 fathers passing the noodle to 15 sons. Jesus Christ, that's a pretty old noodle. Uh, I, and fool that I was, I pushed it away. I rebelled against my pops and picked up another livelihood, but that didn't turn out so well. Oh, there was no denying it. Salty broth runs through these veins, boy. So it was like destiny that you became what you are. Right, destiny's the word. Oh, I fought it. But in the end, I was bound by the twisted noodle of fate. Not a mental image I care to linger on. <laughs> yeah. So at least uh, last year, I started my noodle stand. The 15th generation of Eldoon's noodles. Tell me about the noodles. Um, so tell me more about the noodles. You don't know the genius that are my noodles? Obviously not. I make them so salty. Why, they're saltier than salt. Now I really don't want to find out. Daddy's a regular at his noodle stand. He frequented my pops' stand back in the day, his attorney days, too. Yep, him and his assistant. I'm sorry, I'll be sure to drop by your stand soon. Wish you could, Sonny! What? Heck, I wish I could. I'd give anything for a bowl about now. What do you mean? It was stolen! My stand, it's gone! Stolen stand? Tell me about the stolen stand! It was last night. I was doing my rounds, blowing my whistle. Yeah, I'll drink for it. That's fine. Fine, fine, fine. I will take a drink for it. I don't see what the harm in that is. How many times is he going to blow the whistle? Probably not that many times. Let's not worry about it. Also, yeah, whistle, but it's, it's literally, it's not a whistle. That is what we in the industry call a harmonica. It's a kazoo? That is, I don't think you know what a kazoo is. I don't know, man. It's like an ice cream truck's bell, but louder. He even gets com uh, complaints. <laughs> now you're just trying to butter me up. That sounded more like the, the blues than the whistle. Uh, I closed up my stand for a night and parked by the house. Then this morning, dark and early, it was gone! My keep! My castle! Oh! Okay, who got murdered, though? Tell me about the murder. Maybe some bum carted it off? Just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished! All my noodle bowls were in there, too! Well, you got one on your head. You can use that. 
That's the saddest thing I've heard all day. And my dad's in the hospital from getting hit by a car. You know it! Anyhow, that's the deal. Good luck. Good what? Wait, wh what exactly is your request? My noodles, Dan. Find it! Ooh, I'm more of like a murder solver guy. I don't really have... I don't know. This is out of my wheelhouse. And the day you bring my baby back is the day you feast on as many noodles as you want. Of course, I make it so hot and salty, two bowls would kill a man. Then I'd really need a defense. Is that foreshadowing? Is that subtle? Mm, perhaps? Speaking of a defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. I don't know. Detective and lawyer are two very different sets of skills. I went to law school, not to detective school. What do you want from me, Puka Dagger? Thank you for gifting a tier one sub. Thank you. This is where I live. You drop by if you need any info, okay? Okay. Uh-oh. Get it back today if you can, Paulo. I got noodles to make. <coughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. Thank you, Rakir98, for the tier one. Thank you. Things have certainly taken a turn for the bizarre. Traffic accidents and noodle stand thieves. Um, actually, there was something I wanted to ask you about too, Apollo. What is it now? I have a bad feeling about this. Ooh, of course I do. I mean, I always do. It is constant. The feelings are all, that is me every time I wake up, every time I live for one minute of my life and when I go to bed. Cheers. <sighs> and especially when I launch Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. I do have a bad feeling about this. <sighs> uh, I like her hat. She has a very nice hat. I want that hat. Okay, what are we doing? Ah, listen to the lady's problem now. Don't be cruel. I lost something last night. That is, something was stolen. Hey, what's this? More thieving and skullduggery? Well, um, someone stole a pair of my panties. Okay. Okay. Okay, dude. Well, I think it's time to go back to the hospital and have a chat with certain someone, because I think I might know where the panties are. I have a weird guess where they might be. Komida77, thank you for the prime. Thank you, Komida. Thank you. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Panties. Trucy's panties. Erm, um, so they were um stolen. Your er uh, Yeah, my my pant yeah, you know. Purple with no way, thank you for the hundred bits. Now I ask, drink for every trucy panties moment. It's not gonna become a reoccurring thing, is it? I, I just had to take a drink for that one. Uh er, right, panties. That's a crying shame! That is, Trucy doll. I was alone in the office last night. That makes it way creepier. Chris5, thank you for the prime smile. Why, chat, why are you smiling at me? What are you doing? Huh? Revoke the harmonica rule and make a new one for every time she brings up her panties. We're not gonna be talking about the 15 year old girl's panties this many times! There's no need to make it a rule! It's. What are you. Huh? Joanne in C5. Thank you for the prime. Thank you. I mean, I don't know. I feel like there's something you're not telling me, Adriana. I had hung my panties out the window there to dry. Okay. When a thief came and took them, my favorite panties. Who's the dog, though? Who's he? I want to meet him. I ran after him. Give those back, I shouted. Wait. Well, that was certainly brave of you, but I lost him. Without those panties, I don't know what I'll do. Buy another, what? A darn crying shame, yep. Well, it wasn't him, was it? It's not the guy that's calling him tru uh, Trucy Doll. There's just no way. It, it, it was, he didn't do it. Mr. Noodlehead over here did not take the pan, there, no. No, 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 no. 
Well, at least the scene of the crime is convenient. I'll mark it on your map. Oh my god. I'll be heading home now. Remember, find my stand. There's an empty bowl in your future, Paulo. Right. No nicknames. And you help out too, Trucy Doll. Okay? You're the sidekick, so you have to do it. Things have certainly picked up, haven't they? We had no work yesterday, and now we have three cases. I, I, I guess. Let's see where we stand. Not in a courtroom, that's where. Boom! Zing! Ayo! That's, that's a sassy Apollo. That's a sassy Apollo drink right there. I drink to that one. Well, the first item on our list. What are we going after first? Do I actually get to choose? There's no way. Phoenix Wright, Daddy's Hit and Run Accident. We have to find the one who hit him. Who's going to pay us for this? Uh, and the second item, we could go to Mr. Eldoon's house to find the stand. And then we have the Pantsu Incident. <laughs> There's a lot of, we're juggling all sorts of cases right now. What is going on? Concina, thank you for the prime. Any primers in the chat? Any primers in the chat? Can anyone follow Con Cena's example, perhaps? Maybe, hmm? Happy New Year, Ouija. Hope you and everyone here is doing well. Thank you. Likewise, my friend. Thank you. Would be doing better with more primes. That's all I'm saying, but oh well. To find my stolen panties. That bowl of noodles is looking better and better. I can't wait. You know, free noodles for life, that's good payment. That's, like, all my meals taken care of. I, my doctor might yell at me for cholesterol, but, like, yeah, fuck him, dude. Let's go, Polly, to this- I said no nicknames! Aren't you enthusiastic? How could I not be? Let's crack these cases, you and me. <sighs> I guess we might as well get started. Let's see, a hit and run, a stolen stand, and last but not least, stolen pantsu. That is quite the laundry list of activities. Thank you, VHS for Life 97, for the tier one sub. Where am I going first, boys? Accident scene, scene of the stand theft, Hickfield Clinic. Which one? You tell me. I'll even pick the one that you all spam the most. Where, literally, where are we dropping, boys? What are we doing? Accident scene, no. Okay, well, fuck you guys. Thanks a lot. Accident, accident. I've seen, I've seen enough accident. Let's just go here, okay? It's fine. June 15th accident scene. Where's Dick? Show me Dick! So this is where Mr. Wright got hit by that car. According to the map, this is the place. What a huge mansion. Feels like Chinatown. Apollo, there's a nice looking lady over there. Let's question her. Um, okay. I'm a little curious about... What? That's not... That is not who I think it is. It is... There's no way. They're, like, it's just an old lady. There's a billion old ladies all over the place. I'm a little curious about the park over there, too. Well, that's certainly not an old bag. Excuse me, um, can we have a few words with you? I don't think she wants to talk. You want something? Whoa, that husky voice. Why am I suddenly sweating? That's quite a house you've got there. You must have a lot of money. Whoa, money sounds like something my son would call his friends. What? This is the Kitaki family mansion, little girl. Eh? You, kid with the hair! <laughs> you, kid with the hair. You want something? Urk. Uh, me? No, not a thing. Bye. Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? But, 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 but the Kitaki family? They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town! What? Oh, shit. If you're gonna ask something, ask it. If you're man enough. Wah! Right! Yay! Way to whip him into shape, ma'am. Does she know no fear? I'm Plum. Plum Kitaki. Wife of the fourth head of the Kitaki family business. Friends call me Little Plum. I, 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 I'm, I'm Little Apollo Justice Attorney at Law. Gulp. If looks could kill, this woman would be a mass murderer by now. You know? Did you know that I'm a lawyer? Check this out. Sorry, kid. I got no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I bet you don't. Ooh, kind of a jammer right now. What's up? Uh, the Kitakis. Tell me about the Kitakis. Little Plum, that's a really cute name for someone so... <laughs> so for someone so... Uh... Yeah? 
Whoa! What is it, Apollo? How about you go through me when talking to her, okay, Trucy? Huh? That doesn't... Uh, that seems like a bit of a needless pr uh, procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for needless procedures. Zing! Bada boom! Oh, little girl, you should know. We're gangsters. Ah, just straight up about it. Gangsta... Oh, that means you're the bad guy. Trucy! I am... I'm really regretting bringing you here right now. <laughs> the bad guy. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna need some warm tea after this one. It takes a lot of hard work to protect a family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. So, you're saying that business is in a slump? Let's not talk about business if we can help it, please. Last night's accident. There was a car accident here last night. Last night? Uh, of course, you wouldn't know about it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Wait, yeah? You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away? He's got some type of spirits protecting him. He's very overpowered, ma'am. You have no idea. That's my daddy. <laughs> I should have known. One of our capo capos. One of our capos thought he'd make a great point man. Capo, point man. Um, could you avoid using too much erm um, industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning. Bah! Cleaning up this paint? Tell me about the splattered paint. What is this, Splatoon? Ha ha ha. Was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? It was around nine last night. I heard a crashing noise and found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue? You've my husband, the boss, to thank for that. <laughs> the car that hit your father knocked over this paint. Okay. Then turned the corner and sped away. Gotcha. We're in the middle of repainting the, our wall, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. But why are you out here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons to do your dirty work for you? Trucy, I am going to tighten that fucking handkerchief so tightly you can't speak anymore if you continue. Please go through me when you want to. <laughs> Don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Erm, um, yes. But we're community-oriented gangsters, you see. The boss likes to give back to the people, see? How noble of him. I availed myself of the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Now there's just the paint on the streets to deal with. Public facilities? You mean, I wonder if she means that trash can. I will inspect the scene by examining the scene. Tell me about the paint. There's paint splashed all over this gate. What a mess. Was this paint knocked over by the car that hit my daddy? That's right. Fair. <laughs> she said fair. And I'm left to clean up the mess. If you find whoever did this, bring the scoundrel by, would you? Of course, then you can make them clean up their own mess. <laughs> You're cute. Naive, but cute. When I find whoever did this, you can bet I'll be doing some cleaning. There's nothing I dislike so much as a mess. Okay, I wish I could say cool things like that. I bet you do! <laughs> I'd laugh if my teeth weren't chattering so hard. That's a fox. Wow, what a big house! And the gate is so big! The Kitaki family is pretty big around these parts. I like the fox, it's cute! Ah, that! That's our family crest from the old country! Your family crest? We're clever as the fox, and our teeth are sharp. So it's like a, it's like a moto. Motto even, not a moto. You need a crest too, Apollo. Ooh, how about the scales of justice? Or a lunar lander? I'll pass, thank you though. Oh, because Apollo, like the space thing, yeah. Another fox? Wow, what a big house, and I like the fox, it is cute. Yeah, 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 look at the dragon. The dragon's gonna talk to me. Something crazy's about to happen when I look over here, I know it. A brightly painted dragon. Why do I get the feeling he's glaring at me? Those paints must have been to repaint this wall. Oh wait, that's right, I called in an artist to do the job right. 
He's the third so far. The third? The first spilled paint all over the entrance here. The second on my kimono. So I... No, I do not want to know. La 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 la. It's better that I do not know. You can... I cannot be implicated in this. Let's look to the left. I mean the right. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hang on. I get it. I... I the, the spilling of the paint. Uh, this way. There we go. Who are you? Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story, you know? There is something about her. Too bad she seems to be in a bit of a rush. Okay. Is it? No, this is not happening right now, man. There's no way. There ain't no way that that's her. Looks like there's some trouble by the park gate. I smell an incident. Ugh. I'm going to grab that earring and pull down really hard, Trucy. I swear to God, you have to shut up. You have to stop. Cheers, boys. I smell a drink. Cheers, cheers, cheers. It'd be easy, too. It's a big earring. That's all I'm saying, Trucy. Keep that in mind. Ma'am, there's no entry to the park. Oh, man. Oh, I know who it is. I know that old lady. Now, don't you tell me where I can't go, young fella. I always rock, walk through this park on my way home. Please get down from there. You'll hurt yourself, ma'am. That's quite the determined old lady. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. No, I'm not. What do you mean? Of course I'm more interested in Miss Old Bag reappearing. You know what I think? I bet they're filming a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Hey, miss, stay out of the park. He got mad at me. Um, did something happen here, officer? Huh? Uh, no, move along. Nothing to see here. Why don't you kids go play someplace else? We're not kids and we're not playing. I'm an attorney. Something wrong. Ah, Detective Sky. We're fine, ma'am. Nothing to report. Bye. God. There she is. Detective? Why is she wearing a lab coat? Because that's the character design. Shut up. Why? Yeah, you're hardly one to comment on how people are dressed. I was, I was seconds away from saying that. God damn it. And these kids are? Curiosity seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Ah, oh, why don't you kids run along and play someplace else? Look, we're not... Or I might spill something on that pretty face of yours. What the? Threatening to acid attack me? Like, what a weird thing to do. What a dose of experimental... Nope. Come again? What's hydrodrox... What? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trucy. Try to keep out the riffraff, if you would. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Grrr, how are we going to get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh yeah, that nice woman, gulp. Where's Dick? I miss Dick Gumshoe, I want him back. I miss him so bad, he could help me out. He'd say, don't go in there, pal. And then I'd go in anyway and he said, ah, oh, you got in here, pal, that's okay. I still like you. It'd be great, people park. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh yes, quite the commotion. Chicago lighting, as the boss would say. Okay, Chicago, what? Where is that? Is that in Japan, Fornia? Gunfire, someone was killed. Strange circumstances too. You're kidding. What a morning. Trouble everywhere, the park, the gate, even our house. Did something happen at your house too? A crime without oh my god I have I'm juggling three things right now ma'am I don't have time for this it's about to be four with a murder on my hands <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen but here I am what happened tell me all about it it's a private matter but like I'll tell you anyway if you want somehow I don't think no is an acceptable answer Polly a private matter so, what happened at your house? Bloomers last night. Eh? I got a bad feeling about this. What? Bloomers at... Wait a second. 
That kind of sounds like something that we're dealing with currently. What is going on with the blue? The, the, the panty raid. Last night's panty raid will go down in history. Why are all these women hanging out their panties outside the window? There's got to be a better place. There has to be a better spot. I'm just saying. I got a bad feeling about this. Me, little plum Kitaki, the victim of a panty snatcher. What? So it wasn't just my panties that were stolen? Got you too, did they, poor thing? Like I said, whoever did this is a hardened criminal. It wasn't you, was it? No, why would you assume? Mercy, please. I've heard word that panties have been disappearing lately. And the missing panties all have something in common. It's hard to imagine Trucy's. I don't want to imagine Trucy's panties at all! Stop it! I just imagined Miss Kataki's panties. <sighs> I know, we'll find your bloomers too. Great, show me what you're made of. What have you gotten me into this time, Trucy? Hello, woman. That girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Ah, uh, um, hello, mom. She's a Kitaki too? Um, miss, miss? What? Here, our flyer. The right anything agency? Anything agency? What are you, wait, oh no, it doesn't actually say, I was gonna like call her out for misreading, but. Yeah, do you like the new flyer? So, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Attorney, What? what is happening? Drop by our office. We'll be waiting. Ah, okay. Cool. Why did you do that? I don't know. She seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to a gangster dynasty. She doesn't need our help. I wouldn't be so sure. Okay. If you insist, I, maybe. Can I examine a little bit more? Can I, what, what, what can I do here? Talk? No, it's just to the lady. Um, I can't... Did you guys know that I am a lawyer? I'm just gonna be presenting this to her... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't know that that would happen. Is it time to leave? I think it might be time to leave right now. Let's move. The scene of the stand theft. That is kind of the next logical course of action from where we're at right now. June 15th, scene of the stand theft. So, what's this place? This will be Mr. U... Sorry, Eld Eldoon's house, silly. Oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from? I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. It's the dog! Hey! It was Mr. Eldoon! There was a dog chasing Trucy down, the, like, the street. Oh, it's over. It's already over. Kebby, thank you for subscribing at Tier 1. Enjoying this Lawyer Tuesday. It's called Turnabout Tuesday, but thank you all the same. Look, there's a police car parked over that. No? What? Three shots for the price of what? Huh? What are we talking about? Chow, what? What is going on? Why am I? I don't know what they're talking about right now. Um, okay. You're right. What's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place? A hospital? Well, it does say clinic. There's a sign. Marikeet's clinic hmm oh that's where the thief went the thief he definitely did it he stole them pantsu i know it's his dog for christ's sake it's gotta be mr noodlehead over here who did it there's just there's no way there's just no way take three shots Cade. i will as soon as someone tells me why marakeets yeah, that's what i said what did i say that is what i said the sign is literally you gotta calm down, man. It's not... Just calm... Everyone calm down. The one who snatched my panties! He ran into this clinic last night. Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties! Probably not. Oh. 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 Okay. Well, you see, when you put it that way... I... Look, my eye... I wish I had an eye tracker right now, because you know where my eyes are? On the text! 
Not up here. Why are they gonna be up here? The text doesn't suddenly pop up there. I'm just trying to... Right, fine. Fine. Every time the game literally tells you to take some shots, you gotta take the shots. Like, what are you gonna do? Bloodlink, wow! Thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you. Streamer does I spy. Would that be fantastic stream content? Yo, what if I got like some Where's Waldo books? And then I like installed an eye tracker and then I did. That would be awful. <laughs> what am I talking about? That is the dumbest shit I've ever said in my life. Why did I get so excited when I said it though? Maybe. 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 No, because backseating? Well, my eyes are going to be on the books, bro. How are you going to backseat me if I'm just looking at the books? Hmm? Ouija! Ouija! He's top left! I see Waldo! I found Waldo, Ouija! Please acknowledge me! I found him! He's up there! You got- No, stop looking down there, Ouija! I can see it now. It would be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, make the Where's Ouija book. That's what all my subscribers on YouTube.com slash Ouija plays play every single day. Cheers! Three shots. That's one. Here's two. <laughs> okay and the third one too yes another one i doubt it well there's only one way to be sure let's investigate ah there you are sonny oh it's guy hello guy <laughs> A thousand percent sure that he stole the panties. Like, there's... Are we are we playing this game like he didn't do it? Come on, guys. Guys, come on, man. Well, you find anything yet? Uh, no. Not yet. Thank you, Bloodlink. Wow! For subscribing to twitch.tv slash God yet again. For, uh... Or gifting a tier one sub. Thank you. Oh, my God. The longer you loaf around here, the saltier your, your victory bowl gets. Just remember that. This bowl of noodles is sounding less like payment and more of a punishment. What's up, bruh? Eldoon's noodles. So, your stand. Eldoon's noodles, was it? I passed down from father to son. That stand seen at Shero's salt. Mm-hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. I bet high blood pressure does too. Ayo, zing, zinger. Apollo, I, I, I like Apollo. It's kind of like he's written to just kind of be Phoenix Wright, but again. But that's not a bad thing, because Phoenix Wright's like the best character, so I don't mind. So, your stand, Eldoon's noodles, was stolen. Oh, it wasn't just the stand that was stolen, sonny boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt-crusted stew pots, my stained sign. I didn't just lose a stand, I lost a legend! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I might have made a mistake. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch! Let's find that legend, Apollo! Isn't it about time he brought a... bought a new one anyway? Yeah, probably. Have you told all this to your insurance company, sir? I, I'm not your insurance provider, I can't help you, but it's okay. People unjustly hate Apollo because he's not Phoenix, but anyone who has actually played the games knows Apollo is just Phoenix. That is kind of the vibe that I'm picking up right now. Like, it's it's not one-to-one, -one, but essentially, a, like, they're just the same guy. <laughs> you, you gotta think of it, like, if I'm making a sequel to this game, right, and I gotta write a main character, I'm just gonna write what I know. I'm just gonna make the same character, like, kind of again, but just slightly tweaked. It's, it, they're basically the same guy. And that's a good thing. And that's not a bad thing. And I'm, I'm only on case two, so it's totally fine. We still got a lot more to go. A lot more character development from Apollo to understand. VHS for Life 97, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Take a drink ever time. You think a rule you made is a mistake? Huh, that might be a good idea. Maybe. Apollo would never eat glass for a girl? Well, that's spoilers, Adriana. Thanks a lot for that one. W we'll see. I don't believe you. You bet, sonny boy, it happened last night. I was blowing my whistle, like always, crying the town I was. The smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty, very salty. I got home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. 
I guess he's not aiming for that late night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease. Then I went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? It is not spoilers. Well, I didn't not know that Apollo didn't eat glass for a girl. And now I know that he doesn't. So I'm a little bit pissed off right now about that. Early this morning before the sun rose, work starts early. Do that many people eat noodles for breakfast? Oh, why not? It's delicious. I'm washed up on the salty shores of ruination. Arigato. That stand had my whole life in it. Nay, my whole, my whole being. They took everything. All my soup, stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams too. Thank you, 100 Biddies, VHS for Life 97. Also, Curse is this stupid keypad on this new phone. Also, Curse, this stupid keypad on this new phone. Okay, I see now, I see. At least they left one bowl, look there, on the ground. Also on your head. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets peddling that bowl, my last bowl. I made a mistake. I, I want to take it back. I want to take it back. I made a big mistake. I'm sorry. I didn't know it would be like this, man. I didn't know. Please, I'm under enough pressure at here as it is. We're just getting thrown directly into the fire for this entire investigation. That's it. That's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to. It's it, th that is it's a shame, really. If you think about, it. that's just a shame. Does the game want me to think like I'm smart? by thinking that he's the one who did it, but he didn't even do it. Sergeant Guy, thank you for sticking true to your promise. Thank you for the big raid. We're talking about panty thieves right now. There was a panty raid last night, and it did not go so well for 15-year-old Trucy. I tell you what. If they have to steal, make it my loincloth, not some pretty girl's panties. Right. The garage, right. You don't think the thief lives here, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Why is everyone saying fair? Fair. I wouldn't put it past that good-for-nothing doctor. Oh, hmm. Do I take a little bit of animosity towards the doctor who I want to personally bludgeon to death? Let's make sure to check out that garage thoroughly. Oh my God. I've got like one five vibes. I don't want to check out a garage thoroughly. I've already done this before. It's a lot of work. Uh, I'll also examine. Check out this car. Police. I'd understand if there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? Maybe they're tax evaders. Ah, uh, sorry, miss. No going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh, no. Nothing to see here. Move along. You'll have to find someplace else to play doctor. Do we look like the right age to be playing doctor? What the fuck are you talking about? We need a little more info on this, uh, Mara... I'm, uh, like, it's it's hopeless. I'm never gonna do it, chat. Mar... Marak... Maractus. Maractus Clinic! Maractus Clinic! Maractus! Maractus Clinic! We can ask Mr. Eldoon. He is their neighbor, after all. And he, we should check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there, hmm? <sighs> it's a Pokemon. It's Maractus. Okay, talk to him again. Maractus Clinic. What do you think about that? Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front. Fair! <laughs> Probably gave someone food poisoning, I'll bet. If anyone's at risk of giving someone food poisoning, dot, dot, dot. Ooh, I'm, I'm so sassy. I'm so sassy. That police car got here this morning, actually. I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me. The neighbor. Fa! Hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time for he got what was coming to him. Fa! The wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. Well, I'm minding now. Did you know that I am a lawyer, by the way? Have I mentioned this to you? Sorry, sonny boy. My interest is for my stand and precious little else. Find my stand, please. Please. Fine. Fine, sir. Okay. Uh, no. Don't examine. Move. 
to the garage. We gotta go to the garage, right? Skelly! Cat! Whoa, this is a great scene right here. June 15th, Mercatus Clinic Garage. This is the place. This is where that panty snatcher ran. Are you sure? How are you, like, so positive? Maybe. I don't know. Let's look. Clues to a panty snatching. Clues like a pair of panties. What? Uh, Trucy? Could you try not saying panties so many times? Well, here's a phone. That's something, right? This is the creepiest shit I've ever seen. I hate this. I, I hate whoever thought to put this in here. I hate you. Sorry. I don't like it. There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. Do they live in the car? Snap, snap. Oh, there's like a rag in the thing. Hang on. This is more important. That reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Huh? Apparently, there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. That piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. I remember. Wow, I remember that case reco uh, record whenever I'm checking out a car. And I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's got to have a hobby, I, I guess. You know, it's kind of weird. Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey, are those the pantsu? What? That's not the pantsu. Wait. Are these your... Ah, oh, my panties! What? Already? Wow, thank you, Apollo. You're a genius. Amazing. No, 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 really. Don't mention it. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. You must have a nose for finding girls' panties. Why are you here? Why are you here? I, I don't need your help. This is unnecessary, really. Um. Hey, what are those? My little panties, of course. They've come home to mama. I can't wait to you. Ew, what do you mean? They were just shoved in a tailpipe. What? You're going to put them on now? What? You're not. What? If you're putting them on now, does that mean that you're currently? Watch closely! Um, no, it's fine. There's there's nothing in there. Don't worry about it. There's nothing. Ta-da! Whoa! Where did that come from? How did that bowl get in your panties? My panties are an extra-dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. I'm glad I asked at the beginning of the stream. 15, 15, 15, 15. I didn't write it. What do you want from me? I didn't write the game. You gotta back off a little bit, man. I, I literally didn't do it. I gotta pour more water into my big orange cup though, so I will, cheers. The best Ace Attorney game, huh? Oh, it's so good, bros. Oh, it's so good. Damn, it's like, oh, it's just such a great game. For, for like, uh, 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 why is it great? Uh, don't worry about it. Have you played it? Like, you know. If you played it, you know. But like, uh, it's just not. God. They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Magic panties. They love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. I hope you don't show them nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner. Trucy's panties put discreetly away in Trucy's pocket. Type other. Yeah, that is how I would type that one. Retrieve from uh, Meritix Clinic Garage. Well, that's one case closed at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. Oh, that's true. Those are not panty. Those are bloomers. That is correct, chat. You are right. So it's kind of inaccurate. She was baiting me. Like, what do you do with this? Why would you just be inaccurate? I don't get it. Not to be confused with the other bloomers. <laughs> do you have any bit emotes? 
uh, what is it? Uh, maybe? I don't know what that means exactly. Something tells me we're not finished searching this garage anyway. I think there might be a pink phone right here. Look! A pink phone right here! Someone dropped it beneath the tire. If the car moved, it would be crushed for sure. Hmm, I wonder if it belongs to the doctor. Wait, uh, wait, this is not, this, this isn't his phone, is it? Not that guy? We should bring it to him later. Cell phone at, wait a second, but that is his phone, right? Why is, some synapses in my brain are connecting that this belongs to dude. Mr. Evil Doctor, so maybe I'm not crazy, I don't know. That's, I mean, that's it though. But like, wait, what about this? Why do you not have a mirror? Isn't that like illegal? You're gonna go to jail, bro. You can't drive like that. Hey, look at that. The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. What? You're smiling like you know something I don't. I know a lot of things you don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue? Let's see. Whoa, what do you mean a clue? Let's see. <laughs> what? Uh show evidence i think i do have just the clue you've got in mind no the fuck i don't what do you <laughs> no i i certainly do not how do i back out how do i back out how do i back let me out i wanna no no way man i can't back out you really like you're just in here once you say yes i do know you're just done that's it I can't say no? I I suppose the pantsu will have to do for right now. That's your clue? Sorry, but that leaves me feeling kind of clueless. Like father, like daughter with the humor, apparently. There's no need to bluff here, Apollo. Save that for the court. Thanks for the advice. Oh, I didn't even lose any health. Well, that's nice. Kitty. Hey, kitty, 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 ki Aw, it's kitty. It's not coming down. We do look kind of... I wasn't muted during that. <laughs> we do look kind of sus, you have to admit, you know? Like, just a little bit. Two of them! Two drinks! Consuming Shadow, thank you for the tier one. Thank you, sus? Yeah, no, I see it. There it is. Before my very eyes. That's great. J yes, one for the sus. Ooh! And then another one for it being the first sus of the night, which is a, uh... A very important factor in all this. Good. Thanks, Vedka. It's okay, Kitty Cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, Kitty Cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat. You can be sassy. I'll be sassy right back. How about that? What is this? There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. I've taken such a close look. What do you mean? I've looked so closely. Like, what else do I need? Uh, the, yeah, I looked at the mirror. That's obviously something that I don't have access to right now. The license plate number is just... It's, it's gone. Let's not worry about that. Ah! Holy shit. Don't scare me like that, game. What are you doing? Ah! Someone's there! Oh, it's just a gold-painted human skelly. Just a human skelly and painted gold? There's a mannequin hand waving to us from the box behind the skelly. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? It screams something, that's for sure. Me. No, I don't- I thought- ugh, I didn't know that these two things were tied together. Tires? Did you change your tires? There's gotta be something about changing tires to this whole case, right? And we're kind of done right now. There's something... No, don't look at... I was not hovering the car! I was hovering the garage door because I thought I would be able to leave. Back out. Move. What do we got next? Eldoon's house. 
Don't worry, <laughs> it is simply a, just a human skelly. I mean, it's not that scary at the end of the day. Fun fact, chat, la I'm an idiot. No, don't talk to this guy. Sh sh go away. How did I miss this? I'm actually like, I, it's, chat, make, make it stop. What am I doing? This. Look, it's a folding ladder. This is unequivocally true. Polly, that's called a step ladder. Come on. A step ladder? How is that different from a regular ladder then? It's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. So you admit that basically it's a ladder, right? Wait, huh? You have to look past the form, at the essence of the thing. Erm, um, can we talk about something else? <sighs> Chat, what is it? What, what do you, you look at this thing right here? You examine this? You see this in a garage and you click your examine button? What is that? What do you call it? You, you, you point at it and you turn to your friend and you say, Look, it's a blank. Fill in blank. Step ladder, a ladder, a step ladder, step ladder, run the, run the pole, chat, run the pole, someone do it, make it right now, come on. This is ridiculous, we gotta get to the bottom of this right now. Uh, I, I, it, it is a step ladder though, I mean it is. Fold, but like a folding ladder is just, it's the same, you're describing the same thing. I would personally call it a step ladder. Because of the folding aspect, you know? However, that's not necessarily true because like some folding, like I own a folding ladder, like a step ladder, you will, not a folding ladder, that's like what we're talking about. A step ladder that folds out and it's only a ladder on one side and you can't go up the other side. So it's not two ladders into one, but it is still, a, like I would still call that a step ladder. Wait a sec, no, that is a, that is a folding ladder. I changed my mind right now thinking about it. That's a folding ladder. A folding ladder is when two ladders are the, like, it, it is literally two ladders. A step ladder is when it is not two ladders. It is one ladder. That's how it goes. D tell me I'm wrong. How the hell am I wrong? Thank you a series of tubes for the hundred biddies. It's a step ladder because it has places to step on as opposed to just rungs for climbing. Well, Hmm. Show me, like, one more time. Hang on. <laughs> I mean, is the rung specification the thing that makes it a stepladder? I mean, they are flat, which is, I think, objectively better ladder design than rungs that are just round pegs that you stand on. Don't get me wrong. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Why am I second guessing myself so hard even still? You do step on the ladder, but hear me out. You step on every ladder. That's how you climb a fucking ladder. So what do you do? We got to go to right anything agency right now. Thank you for the hundred bits, the radical capital, hundred bitties. How have you not made an Ace Attorney step ladder moment drink rule? Literally one per game. It's the perfect drink rule. That, ah. Uh, because <coughs> I've usually, I've usually had too much by the time we get to that point. But you are correct and I shall do it. I love you, lad. If I ever see a ladder in an Ace Attorney game and I don't see it or like click on it without chat intervening, that should also be a drink. I'm going to make that rule now, but not drink for it because it just happened. That's okay. You did make that rule? I believe it. I probably did. Past me is pretty smart. New me, kind of like brain off. My New Year's resolution is to turn the brain off and just like go with the flow, man. Just do, just like do it. <laughs> That's how it be. Thank you. Curvinex for the prime. Thank you. Everything that I have ever learned prior to 2022, it's irrelevant. Dumped out of the memory banks. I got a fresh brain right here. Ready for the learning. What do we do? True Panty Snatcher. 
What? You want to see them again? Well, if you must see my pant- No, 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 it's okay. I am not looking, personally. My hand is covering up that little box in the top left, so don't get mad at me. Let's just put them away, shall we? Case closed. What are you talking about? The case isn't closed until we have our thief. Just find him on the side while you're working this other cases. If it were that easy, we wouldn't need the police. We don't need the police. Then we don't need defense attorneys either, right? Fine, fine. I'll look for your panty snatcher. Fine. I know who did it, but oh well. Well, do we have any leads? Hmm, one moment. Alakazam! Alakazing! Whoa, where did all this evidence come from? So, what happens next? That's it, pretty neat, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. <sighs> Thank you, Trucy. I'm so glad that Maya's not here. That's just, it's, it makes me feel great. Let's leave right now. To the, how about the clinic? We can go to the Hickfield Clinic. June 15th, Hickfield Clinic. Ah, huh, Mr. Wright's gone. Maybe he's gone for an examination? He'll probably be back soon. Let's wait. I think it might take some time. Daddy always loves his examinations. Don't ask, Justice. You don't want to know. Why don't we come back later? Yeah, I guess you're right. Come back! Ooh, but I don't... What do I do? Write anything agency, probably. Is a good point to start. And then we go to Kitaki Mansion? What about this? I got the pantsu. What do you know about this? Sorry, kid. No, I don't know. Is this your phone? Found in the uh, Marikits Clinic garage beneath the car. Who could have dropped this? Not you, right? I, I know whose phone it even is, but like, I don't know what to do next. And we are stuck. We are officially stuck, gamers. I'm trying to figure out what to do next, and it is a struggle for your boy. I smell an incident. Yeah, I know, I know. Look to the right. I mean, I am. W what else do I need to see? The this one? I gotta say, I'd really like to know what happened here. Hey, I said no one goes in! Unless you want a face full of... Hmm, no dice. I don't think I can do that right now. I gotta say, I'd really like to know what happened here. Hey, no one goes in unless you want the face full of the th Yeah, 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 I, I get it, buddy, I get it. Use map. For evidence of broken window? Wait, what? Broken window? That's a map. Uh... I don't... I don't know. To the right. Oh, where do I go? Trash can? Trash can. Thank you. How about we inspect the trash can? Not talk, but actually trash can. This one. There's a big trash can on the way into the park. I guess we could check it out. Can we? Wait, how are you going to tell me it's behind the police tape? No, we can't check it out. How are we going to? We can't. We can't. The cops are going to say no. A detective's life sure is a hard one. I'm an attorney, actually. Huh? Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These are slippers. They look like those slippers you get at the hospital. Wait a second, at the hospital? Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? Oh my good god. I, I know where one of these things goes. Looks like it was so torn off when it smacked into something or else. Wait, you don't think? I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, and he took off with its mirror? I never knew Daddy was so strong. He fell into a river one time, dude. You have no idea. I only have room in my pocket for one of these, though. Which do you want to take? What? Oh, suddenly carrying around a ton of evidence is, is an issue? Okay, I, I do want the mirror because I know what to do with that one. That's wild. Do I have to get rid of evidence? Do I have to, like, dispose? How do I dispose? I don't need a lot of this stuff right now, but I definitely need this to go to over here. 
to examine the car one more time so I can present the evidence that God has given me. Snap! Snap! What's up? Hey, look at that! Do you have a piece of evidence? That would maybe go with a big green car with no mirror? I do, Trucy. I actually do. It's this one right here. Take that! My clue is this! Yes! Whoa! It's the same color and size and everything! A perfect match! I guess we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo! Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. Yeah, I know. I saw it. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something or someone. Well, looks like we've uh, just solved the case. So the car that hit daddy last night is sitting right in front of us. Yep. Wow, you put the pro in professional, Apollo. Gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo? Oh, what? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to daddy. He'll mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Um, okay. He doesn't seem the type to mope, though. And this is hardly a case worth reporting. The game explicitly tells you to do something, you do it. It's as simple as that. Goodbye, Mr. Friend. I have to go to... This place. And then from this place, I can go to the place where I need to go. Why not just... Oh, no, he's not here yet, though. Where is he? Huh? Go report to Phoenix Wright. By the way, Phoenix Wright's not here right now. <coughs> it doesn't make any sense. Move again. Write anything. Well, where are we supposed to go? Is it the Kitaki Mansion? It's not the Hickfield Clinic. Is it? There's no way. Aw, oh, jeez. Um, what do you want me to do? I tried to talk to my dad, but I can't. My dad does not want to talk. You? No. Huh. Well, can we examine this again and then take the other piece of evidence? That well, Like, why are the cops not grabbing this? Big waste basket. Huh? You aren't going to search through the trash? Of course we're going to. Oh, no, please. Knock yourself out. Don't mind me. I'll be waiting. Just so we're clear, searching through trash isn't a hobby of mine, okay? What? Then do it! Wait, what, what are we waiting for? How do I make it actually- grab the- what was it, like slippers? Examine. The slipper basket. I- I- I see the slippers and they're the green ones. I'm hovering over them so hard. There's a big waste basket by the- what? But why would I say, do we need to grab- which piece of evidence do you want to leave behind? I guess this one, I'll come back and get it. Okay. And then we come back to the piece of evidence that we need to grab again after getting rid of the other one. And now we're saying, why are you looking in there? What are, like, what are you doing? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you be looking in a big waste basket? What are, are you stupid? Do you like to dumpster dive? What, what do you want from me? I guess we go to Eldun's house. Talk? It's already- we've already done all the things. Chat, I'm lost. I'm officially lost right now at this point. Uh... Do you know anything about any of this stuff? Sorry, sonny boy! Get cracking on the ca Please help me. What about this one? Nope! The pantsu? Nope! Still nope. And that's it. That's all I have right now. Cave the mirror. What do you mean, cave the mirror? I did the mirror thing. I can go back. I can I can do it again. Not like that, though. Move into the garage. Like so. And then I can examine this again. I don't have to do the mirror again, though, do I? Why would I have to do that? That's just silly. Did you examine the bowl on the ground? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, didn't I? I thought so. What'd you just say? Sorry. 
someone at the Merikits clinic and it hit Mr. Wright. I got the hiccups. I'm sorry. Mr. Wright sprained his ankle. And the car lost a side view mirror. This car versus Mr. Wright, not quite the match of the century. What? What do you mean? I can't look at it anymore. No, there's no way. But I did inspect everything, didn't I? So what is next? What what, what does come next? I don't know. Um, You have nothing about any of this, so I'll leave. You... You, for right now, dude, the hiccups are really bad. This actually works out just fine. Because I do have to go to the restroom anyway. So, I'm going to stop breathing until I come back. And then I will have no more hic hiccups. Goodbye. And farewell. Now what? Now what are we supposed to do? I'm already lost. We're a couple of minutes into this game and I don't even know where to go next. Uh, let's move again to, I mean, we were specific. What about you? Do you want to see something? Examine the cat. Look at Adriana's link. No, I, 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 am, I am well aware. Live footage of me and Hacker checking for a pulse after Weezy the God stream. You see, you say that, but here I was thinking that it was actually live footage of me and Hacker after a twitch.tv slash Weezy the God stream. I, it's impossible. Who, who knows? Who knows what it actually is? 
I must move. This is not the right place to be right now. I need to go to right anything agency. Help me! What, what, what do I do now? I got your panties! Uh, present? Oh god. Oh god. What's that, Polly? Oh, I know! You want to see a magic trick? Well, you've come to the right place. Watch as I make that evidence disappear forever. Whoa! No, you- I will strangle. The strangling is about to happen. Examine the bowl. Is that not a thing that I did? I could have sworn that- I, Oh, maybe I didn't. Examine the bowl. Is this yours, Mr. Eldoon? Hey, that there's the heart and soul of Eldoon's place! The bowl absorbs my salty soup. Pretty soon, it's gonna taste just like a noodle. Wow, it does smell like noodles. All my other bowls got taken away with my stand. Get it back for me, sonny boy! What, now it's getting added? Well, that's weird. What about doggy? Look, doggy! Good boy, good boy, Salty. I'm sure the dog has a real name, Trucy. Its name definitely isn't Salty, is it? Yep, sure does. Name's Spoon. Didn't expect that. And it's a she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. She didn't get her bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. Poor little thing. My dog. Apollo, let's find that stand soon for Spoon's sake. I'm pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. Especially if you're dumping in pounds and pounds of salt. Vote! Who the hell are you? You're telling me I can't examine this piece of evidence? That's crazy. This house is, well... It's... It's old. It's been well loved, that's for sure. I've lived here with my wife for many years now. I've got character, though. Just like my soup! Ugh. I always thought character was a positive thing. Ha ha ha, zing. Got him. Water. It looks like the oil drum is connected to that sink over there. Collecting rainwater to do the dishes? How environmentally de conscious. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles and to make the broth, do you? Oh, I'm sure he finds the best water money can buy. Taste is his business, you know. Look, that sign over there. Eldon's only uses water from all natural sources. I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. Zing! Big zinger from my guy Apollo right there. Oh my god, I'll take a rain check on eating from the rain water soup and broth and new- Mmm! I like Apollo. This has pushed me over the edge. I was on the fence, but no, I like Apollo. Apollo's a cool dude. He's kind of like Phoenix Wright, but slightly different if you think about it. So cheers. Okay, I have the bottle, why did I say bottle? The bowl evidence. Save the light. There's a handwritten sign here, save the light. Save the light indeed, Mr. Eldon's house is practically in the dark here. I guess the hospital clinic next door blocks the sunlight. Yeah, probably, it's a giant building, what do you expect? Everything's gone wrong since they built this monstrosity. Broth needs sun or it rots. What is a man to do? They just want my customers to get food poisoning so they can turn a pretty profit. That does make sense, actually. It seems like a lot of trouble to go through for a few extra patients. Well, you say that, but also, do you live in America? No, it's Japanifornia. What about this helium tank? This house, it's, well, it sucks. I hate it. I would never let... I'm not, no, it's a repeat. I still owe one drink from all that. So, now that I have this, can I present it to him? Custom made Eldoon's Noodles Bowl, decorated with the Eldoon's Noodle mascot. It is? You can tell my bowls by the Mr. Salty logo. The mascot of Mr. Eldo Eldoon's Noodles. They come to the stand, they sit, they drink deep from that bowl. 
And when they see the bottom, their face just like Mr. Salty's genius, no? A very high concept. You can't ply a trade if you don't love the tools, remember that. Okay. Trucy has a thing for professionals, clearly. Yo, you work a job? Whoa, I got a thing for you all of a sudden. I guess I move to the... How about the Kataki Mansion? Have you ever seen this bowl of soup? Oh, wait a second. June 15th, Kitaki Mansion. Little Plum's not here. She's not finished cleaning, huh? Maybe she went to get a paint scraper? Oh! Who's the wise guy who spit gum out on the street? Her voice carries all the way out to the street from inside the mansion. She's a neat freak. How cute. You there! It was you, wasn't it? Fess up! I hope you said your prayers. You're going to need them. But that's not... I don't like this. Tr Trucy, I don't want to be here right now. I feel uncomfortable. That's ah, fine. Let's go inside. What? Can we actually go inside? I mean, the door's wide open. What do you want me to... Eldoon's house? No! That's the wrong person! I just saw a house and I got excited. Uh, Kataki Mansion. One more time. Do I examine this again? An impressive gate befitting the Kataki Mansion. Look at the nameplate. Kitaki. That's so cool. Short and blunt. Like any good gangster. Oh, let's change our name. How about... Wah. Maybe that's too short and blunt. What do you think? No comment. I don't have time for this, Trucy. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They're not letting anyone into the crime scene. No, I know. N now is it time to go to the hospital? I've got to have a talk with Mr. The Doctor. Quote, unquote, The Doctor, you know? I, I have to do it. Move. One more time. To here. And then from here, we go anywhere we could possibly imagine. Like Hickfield Clinic. Oh, June 15th, Hickfield Clinic? What's going on? Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. It's good to have you youngins on the case. Let's old daddy-o get some well-deserved R&R. Okay, let's not get full of ourselves here, Mr. Wright. Thank you, uh, Churkin Lurkin, for the tier one. Thank you. Very kind, very sweet, Churkin Lurkin. The elderly need their rest. Uh, isn't he, like, 33 years old? Dude, that's, like, not even that far away from... Oh, God. Um, we've cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent, capable. Tell me what you found out if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. It's with fucking pleasure. Here we go. Progress report. Well, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Polly's amazing. He found my panties so quick. <sighs> Sir! Sir, I swear to God. No, put down the shotgun. No, 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 no. no. It's, it, it's not... What are you... No, 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 no. It, okay, calm down. Uh, but, I, but I will take a drink for it. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Almost like he was the one who stole them. God damn it. I can't, I can't do another one right now. You have to understand this, Trucy. You have an interesting concept of praise, I think. And? Did you find the mad driver who gave me that 30-foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from the Marikits Clinic. Hmm, Marikits, eh? I've heard of them. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened? What is this Meritix clinic anyway? Tell me about them right now. All I've heard are the rumors. That clinic's been making good money. In a bad way? What, like by poisoning soup? Bad? Ties to organized crime? The Kentucky family. The Kentucky family? What the hell? I mean, you're gonna have to go to the hospital if you eat there enough. Um, the K- Do you mean the, the Kataki family? Did he do that on purpose? Some injuries you can't take to a public hospital, see? They use the, uh, Marketist Clinic 
for their patch up jobs. Okay. Tell me about People Park. It looked like something had happened in the park. Ah, a body was a body has been discussed. A body was found there in unusual circumstances. Something more unusual than being dead? It's not our concern in any case. Right, let's not worry about that. We're worrying about noodles right now. Come on, man. Come on, Apollo. Whatever happened to professional courtesy? Curiosity, even. Thanks, really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to this, uh... Merak... I still can't do it. Meroctis? Meroctis. Meroctis place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do some good. I am very poor. Um, I was wondering when I get paid. Also, we solved the case of your accident and, um, found a missing article of clothing. My panties, by the way. Th they were mine and they were my panties. That leaves the noodle stand. Eh? Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help out with anything not involving money. Goodbye, quid pro quo, hello pro bono! <sighs> Maractus. Maractus, 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 Maractus. It's drilled in my brain, I'm never gonna say it wrong again. Right, back to the office to plan our next move. Dude, what? Okay, fine. Back to the office to plan my next move, if you insist, Trucy. June 15th, write anything agency. It's the girl! You! You're the woman from the Kataki place! Yeah. I knew it! Something's the matter and you want our help, right? Well, you've come to the right place! Zing! This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Alita Tiala. Alita Tiala. Alita T That's- God, it's so hard to say anyone's name. I have a request. Uh, your request. Your request? Let me guess, something's been stolen? Oh, no, there's no way we get a third one, right? Um, your flyer? It says, now defending, so I thought... What? You mean, you want me to defend you? Maybe you can tell us what happened? Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand? Or your pantsu? No, 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 I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my, well, my fiancé, I suppose you'd call. I'm not taking any more clients at this time, actually. Thank you for stopping by, but I need you to leave immediately. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? Kinda? Tell me about your story first, though. So, what's your story? You frequent the Kitaki Mansion, yeah? Are you a member of their, um, you know, organization? No, not yet. Not yet? You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son. So he's a, uh, <sighs> a gangster? Yes, but the Kitakis are locally responsible gangsters. I thought it'd be nice for a change, quit my boring job, live the good gangster life. I think you're on to something. Miss Kitaki, I like the sound of that. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that one. Be a magician. Let's just, let's stay focused here, Trucy. Let's stay focused. Murder in the park. What happened? I haven't been told all the details, but I do know a body w a body has been disga- near the Kitaki Mansion. There are a lot of police cars there. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol. Ooh, ugh, flashbacks, flashbacks, I don't like it. But I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiancé was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? I mean, that is relevant. Your fiancé, tell me about him. Your fiancé is the Kitaki family son, right? His name's Waki. Waki Kitaki. Fuck right off. Goodbye. You're, you're telling me your name is Waki Taki. 
Excuse you? That's not his name. No, that's hilarious, ma'am. I understand the joke. But, like, what's his name, though? Because I know they did not name their son Walkie Talkie. It's just, how, how could you make such a mistake? How could you name a man Walkie Talkie? You can't do that. That's, that's unacceptable. Okay, I'm drinking... I'm, I'm drinking for the, for just because I want to. Is this game dead ass? It's not even the worst one. It's not even the worst one is the funniest part. I love the naming convention in Ace Attorney games are unironically some of my favorite from any pieces of media that I've ever experienced. They're so good. Every single time they are fire. I don't know why they decided to make them so stupid, but God damn it. I love it. God damn, it's so good. I really like Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney is very fun, and I'm still mad at myself for waiting so long to play this. His name's Walkie Talkie. I brought a photo. That's Walkie Talkie? Well, that's quite the photo. I know. Oh, he can be powerful and menacing, but so cute. But if the boss is only son, yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say, I'm a boss already of this agency. Okay, calm down. You don't just weird flex, but okay, calm down. Please help my wa I'm ignoring you. Please help my walkie, please. Oh my god. We have dude hit by a car. We have dude's cart's been stolen. We have girl's pants who has been stolen. We have other girl's pants who has been stolen. We have this fucking case that we're taking on right now. Is there anything else that I'm missing? We, that's, there's just a lot happening. Right, my first solo defense case. Crime boss's son or not, I'll prove his, well, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. He, he's totally innocent. I'm a good lawyer. I, I know he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Letter of request added. Oh, there's the thing. Right, let's go check out the scene of the crime. I mean, can I? I said that I was a lawyer and I tried to get in earlier and they said, fuck off. Go. Did you know that I am a lawyer, by the way? An attorney's badge? So you really are a defense attorney. Yes. Please, I'm counting on you. I need your help. You don't say. Okay, here I go. To the Kataki Mansion! Up, up, and away! There's just... She's still trying to get over that fence. She's still trying to leap it. So, this is my first murder crime scene. Ah, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're, um, investigating, aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request. Letter of... What? Why does it say hit request on it? Miss Tiala must have used the Kitaki stationery. Excuse me, coming through. That's not Dick Gumshoe. Who the hell are you? Ah, it's you, Mr. Gavin. A different one, but not Mr. Gavin. It's not Mr. Gavin. This is Mr. Gavin, you see. Ah, who's this guy? I must say, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies, but this is the first time I've ever felt this way with a man. Ix! Huh? What? What do you mean by this? What? What do you like? What does that? What does that mean? Um, that's that's. I I will take a drink for that one. We are like two dialogue boxes in, and we're already here. We've already arrived at this point. Look, I know you're baiting it super hard with Phoenix and Edgeworth game. But like, man, we're just, we're coming out swinging, aren't we? For this one. <laughs> we're just like, bam, bam, bam. Absolutely. Here we go. It is still unironically the best ship. And I will die on this hill. Phoenix and Edgeworth be kissing. They, they're, they're doing it. Like, what can I say? Have you played the games? If you disagree with me, I ask you one simple question. Have you played the games? Have you seen the dialogue? Are you, re are you reading the game? The visual novel? Come on, man. Like, come on. Mr. Gavin? 
Wait a second, that's like the dad guy. Ah, nope. What a... What is a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? <gasps> yeah, you can help. The policeman officer fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I will take you to the scene of the crime. Ooh, okay. I'm really into that idea for some reason. Haha. -ha. By your leave, officer. Y yeah, y yes, sir. Of course, sir. <laughs> Very well. This way. We. <laughs> she, she really said we. Let's walk inside. Hey, what about me? You fucking. Okay, here I come. June 15th, People Park. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you. Will we see you again? I mean, will I see you again? I mean, will we see you again? Ask the wind. Hot chat, you need to spell it out for me. Fraulein? Fraulein? Fraulein. Fra Fraulein. Fraulein, yeah. I'll be writing on it. Fraulein. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? So, that was a weird looking guy. Eek! Apollo, look! A c c c c c corpse What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, it sure got me. Ahem! <clears throat> it's Dick. It has to be Dick. Might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? Dick, Dick... No! 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 Oh, it's you. That's my line. How did you kids get in here? Oh, this guy? Well, he was more like a prince, really. Ha 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 He let us in. Him again? <sighs> that glimmerous fop always getting in my way. Anyway, this scene is off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request? Hmm, one moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? Glimmerous fop drink? I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says this was written by Tiala Alita. Holy God, you're smart. It took you... What? Sorry, we've been here for 30 minutes? I was this close. My fingers are very close together. We were this close to saying, damn, you're really smart to analyze this that quickly. But no, it took it 30 minutes. So what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. Hmm. So, oh, then wait, but if you, the, there's a dagger. I see the dagger right there in the ground. There's so many questions. I have really bad news, chat. I don't think we're gonna step room in the courtroom today. I think this is a little bit much right now that we're going through. This is a big investigation phase. What do you want from me? The body was pulling the stand? So, you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Skye, I'm in charge of this crime scene. Oh, I love this girl. She's so cool. She was like, dude, if we had Maya and Emma Skye on the same team, unstoppable force we are we are always going to solve the crime every single time remember when you said emma was better than maya well i do i'm in charge of this crime scene she doesn't seem that happy about it hmm she doesn't seem that happy about many things I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. That's a weird thing to do, but okay, I'll talk to you. The case, tell me your story. Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's snack time. Every time it is snack time, that is a drink. Cheers. Okay. Was it a mistake? Probably. But I've said it right now. So, uh, it's a terrible idea. No. Sp sp no, guy, it's fine. It's fine. Where's Edelgard? Is Edelgard okay? Like, that's what I'm really concerned about right now. How's the sister? Big mistake? You don't want to do this? Great idea. Well, if Adriana says it's a good idea, Adriana's got the sword. So that counts for, like, 
50 votes at least. So what can I say? Thank you, Adriana, for the recommendation. This is on you, Adriana. Thank you. What she got there? What, is, what even is this? What the hell is this supposed to be? Munch, 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 munch. Yeah, no, I get it. No, I like. Pro I promise you, I get it. We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. Ah, I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years. There's my story. They won't give me the position I requested. And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. Who? Now, who could she possibly be talking about? This is the truest mystery here. Who could she be referring to right now? I don't know. He? Who is an ex-defense attorney? I, hmm, my, I am literally reaching through my skull, scratching my brain directly. What is, what is she talking about? The case. Tell me about the case. Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. What have I done? What have I done? I think I hate Ace Attorney. I think this is the worst game ever written, probably. We're not making much progress here, are we? Yeah, she must not be very busy. Uh, I never seem to get a break. Nine years, he's still not. He? Before we go any further, just like, hear me out. Present? Where is it? Uh, where is, no, not the evidence, but the other thing. The profile, can I not present profiles in this one? Is that not a feature? I mean, I want to do this. He's a pianist who can't play a lick. You can't present profiles? You know what? I am mad because I want to do that right now. Because, like, I played the other games and it's kind of been spoiled that this is what she's talking about. But I am happy that I don't have to present these things. That's that's okay. The defendant. Tell me about the defendant. <sighs> hey, Detective Sky. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not making much progress, are we? Maybe we should do something else. Did you know that I am a lawyer? I shall, oh my God, I'm gonna die. Present. That's okay, it's funny though. Thank you, uh, LogiT2 for the prime saying, munch, 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 munch. Munch, 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 munch. Thank you for that one. Um, if you could spare a moment to look at this. Don't you fucking put it in your mouth. Don't do it. Can't you see that I am extremely, extremely busy eating snacks? Yes. Busy eating snacks, I'd say. That's kind of what I was thinking. This is going nowhere fast. Okay, I examine. Ignore me. I'm just doing... Hey there, no messing with the crime scene, but we need to investigate. That's why I'm here. Investigations are to be carried out by professionals, scientifically. She's not going to let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo. My very unscientific analysis tells me... Uh, tells me something... <coughs> tells me something here is very sus I think I know what you mean it's kind of hard not to notice I better check out what we came here to find how about the body how about the card hey there no messing with the crime see but we need to investigate Apollo look that stand no I see it it's it says Eldun e l d o it does say that I've noticed well, we've solved the case of the missing stand, at least. Though the circumstances could stand to be better. <laughs> Zing, you know? Stand? Eh? 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 Tarp? Tarp! What? What is the... Who is the... Tarp? 
I freaked out. I, I backed out. I didn't want to do it, but I will do it. Hey there, no messing with the crime scene, but we need to investigate. Investigations are to be done by professionals. You've got to be kidding me. Can I talk to you about what I just discovered? No, I can't. There is just no way. Trash can't. This... Those are pantsu. I see the pantsu in the bin. No messing with the crime scene. No, but I want to though. Leave me alone. Oh no, I see the bucket. I bet that's important. No messing with the crime scene. We need to investigate Apollo. Look, that stand. I see the stand. It's Eldune. Well, I mean, God, I guess I'll go ahead and talk to the guy. Move. All the way back. I can go say I know exactly where your stand is. Uh, that is a thing that I can do. I can Eldoon it. June 15th, Eldoon's house. Oh, Mr. Eldoon, hello. Looks like he left. And we found his stand and everything. What about our free bowl? Oh, too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that bowl. Oh, what a bummer. God damn. Kataki Mansion? Did you see the thing? No. She ain't even here anymore. Where did she go? I don't know where she went. How about we go back to People Park? Dude, what are you... Ugh. This is a something important to you. Um, if you could spare a moment to look at this. Can't you see that I'm... I'm, I'm so hungry. Busy eating snacks more like... Jesus Christ. Pantsu? Um, I don't know what those are. I would never wear those. Okay, that's cool. Phone? Is this your phone? No, it's not your phone. Chat, I'm, I'm, I'm screwing it up. I'm screwing it up right now. I'm sorry. I've, I'm trying to examine. It's like it's within grasp. I know what I have to go do, but I, I am not allowed to do it. Can I go back to the, uh, the, right here? Hang on. Oh, hey! I forgot that you existed here. You're just, like, hanging out in my in my, in my pad. That's okay. What do you think about these? I'm not sure I understand. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's me who's sorry. Really? What, do you want to go on a date? I mean, no, I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's go to the Hickfield Clinic. Huh? June 15th, Hickfield Clinic. Ah, you're back. <laughs> Ooh, I don't need to hear, ah, you're back from anyone right now. It's too, too soon, too soon. Run into some problems? Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who, me? No, no, I'm fine, really. What's this? So there is a problem? No, 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 no problem. I, like, I just got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem, huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The request was for me, asshole. That's my profession. Oh, you're a lawyer, aren't you? He's doing that on per. I swear, I swear, he kn he knows what he's doing. Ooh, hold me, hold me back, Trucy. Trucy, hold me back, hold me back. I'm, I'm about to start swinging right now. Hey, murder, <laughs> murder. So, what about this defense request? It's related to the murder if in People Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Eldoon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime. Did you now? That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. Have you ever entered beast style, hypothetically speaking? Uh, I, I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon- Yeah, it was a pistol. We already talked about it. That funny detective lady won't let us on the scene. What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat? Wait a second. Didn't think she'd be involved with this. Phoenix, do you know something that I don't? You could say that. Sky Connection. So, you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about 10 years ago. Wait a sec. I met her on a case. This was about 10 years ago. How old is Trucy? And then I look at my, uh, my calendar here and I'm saying, no, that does not add up. Thank you 
GoatLez1 for raiding with a party of five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello. Raiders? Streamer does math? Trucy is 15. No, that's what I'm saying. So, if I met her on a case about 10 years ago, and we're talking about when I actually met this lady, it was a little bit more than 10 years ago, right? Am I crazy? I'm not very good at math. This is something that all of you are very well aware of at this point. The first game was 20, he was 23. Something ain't adding up. Nope, I, I refuse to believe it. He was 23 in the first game? Wait, why is Trucy 15? Adoption exists? Is that a spoiler? Was I just spoiled? 24 at the time of the first game? It makes me feel good that even chat's not right. Chat is lying to you? I, they, when, when are they not? I mean, hello, come on. We were like 23, 24, something like that. She was still a high school student at the time. That is true. That would make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh, wait, maybe you know that other guy too. That other guy? That shining prince on the motorcycle? I... What the hell are you talking about? The mysterious prince. I know exactly who she's talking about. Apollo. Tell you. You tell me about this prince. Not my daughter. You do it. Indulge a concerned father. Right away, sir. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Oh, shit. Did he? You know him? My guess is he's Kristoff Gavin's younger brother. Not a son, but a younger brother. Okay, his younger brother. Eh, we're acquaintances after a fashion. Sorry. Clavier Gavin? Clavier? Clavier. Clavier? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that one. Help me, chat. Help me. Rock and roll god incarnate. Clavier. Is it Clavier? That don't seem right. Clavier. No. Pronounce it like Clavier. Clavier. That's that's what that's what seems the most natural to me, so I choose to adopt that one. It's Clavier. Clavier? Oh, what a lovely name. I kind of wanna I'm 15. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what was he doing out there? I have a feeling you'll be crossing paths again soon. Now, what was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? You know it. Yeah, that detective woman won't let us. Go to the office. Under the silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white pow- What? Excuse you? A bottle of white powder? Try taking that to the detective. White powder? I hope it's not what I- like- Obviously, hello. Just take it to her. It'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. I wish I could if I was trying to present your profile this entire time, but I couldn't do it. Okay, if you insist, write anything agency. Examine the hat. Hello, hat. So this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Whoa! You know what this is, Trucy. I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it and he got mad at me? Aw, oh, Trucy. Aw, oh, sweetheart, come on. You're so stupid. This is getting more and more. <laughs> oh boy. It's getting more and more suspicious. In case you're just listening to this right now, it's, they, they said suspicious. That's why I did the wheezing thing. Cheers! It is getting kind of suspicious. I'm not really comfortable with you licking mysterious white powder. I, I certainly hope you know better at this point, Trucy. Come on! VHS for Life 97, thank you for the 100 bits. K gonna need some white powder soon at this rate? Well, you know, as soon as the bottle of Svetka's over, I'll let you know. Cheers. Drink for every bad parenting moment should be a game rule. Hmm. 
I'd already have to take a bunch of drinks, but yes, I, I'll, I'll do that. Whenever I determine it fit to drink for bad parenting from Mr. Phoenix Wright to Trucy Wright, I will take a drink. Okay, that's fine by me. Why the heck not? He seems like a good parent after all. He's, he's okay. What has he done wrong? He let his daughter lick some mysterious white powder out of his dresser. Eh, I mean, it happens. These things happen. What can you do? Any bad parenting in general? Oh God, this is an Ace Attorney game. I'm not too sure. Ah. <clears throat> do we remember this guy? His name was, what was his name? I believe it was Mr. Von Karma. And he had this child and it was just kind of an issue for me that one time. Any bad parent, fine, fine, whatever. White powder placed gingerly into pocket. Let's go talk to that detective. She's sure to know what that white powder is. Okay. If you say so, move! To the white powder detective at the Kentucky Mansion that I have to move further on from here. I'll do it too. The People Park. Look at my white powder. What do you think of this? Um, does this ring any bells? Ah, that, he couldn't, where'd you get that? I brought it from the office. You work at the Wright & Co. Law Offices, yes? Well, technically no. Uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know about my daddy? Am I feeling a big fucking surge of jealousy right now? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? I'm Trucy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I'm not mad. Emma said, I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I'm not mad. You seem shocked, what's wrong? Well, I mean, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice, um, then I'm available to help you in any way I can, I guess. Oh, thanks. You can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. Thank you. This powder is used for detecting fingerprint. No, no, not again. Oh man, we have to detect fingerprints. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, let's just make the investigation phases a thousand times more annoying. That's, that's fine by me. Fingerprints? I guess you might call it a memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. White powder memories? Don't say it like that. If you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. We'll dust for prints. Well, she's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. Arigato. Can I now? I mean, you're not eating your snacks, are you? Can I look around? This mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer, but I've seen one at the station. A mannequin in place of a body? Thank you, Arigato, VHS for Life 97 for the 100 biddies. Hangman's Gambit moment? No, 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 it's not, it's not that bad. Of course, nothing is ever going to come to be as close as the Hangman's Gambit levels of uh, stress that make me seethe, even to this day. This is not true, I don't believe you. The body of the victim has already been removed. Do you think the victim was the noodle stand thief? What, you think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah, taking care of business, little plum Kitaki style. Try not to sound too eager about that, please. I just can't believe that I'm working with a literal wizard. This is crazy to me. Blue tarps have been placed on the ground. <sighs> the, <sighs> what is that word? What, what are the, what, you, walk into a room you see this on the ground right now what do you call that i would personally call it a, a i would <clears throat> I, I think i if i walked in and i saw this i would say that's a <clears throat> that's a tarp it's a tarp how are you gonna say it's not a tarp it is a tarp of course it's a tarp a vinyl sheet no that just doesn't make any sense what are you talking about man
blue tarps have been placed on the ground around the stand. Apollo, I bet the victim was going to have a picnic here. I guess he could have eaten all the noodles he wanted. Don't touch those! Those are preserving the crime scene! Oh, I guess the police put these tarps here after all. Yeah, you don't say, Bucket, show me Mr. Bucket, what's going on? And this is Mr. Eldoon's noodle stand. Obviously, well, it's a bucket, but yeah, kinda. It does say Eldoon in big letters, doesn't it? And that mark on his paper lantern there looks familiar. It's going to be a little weird telling him what with the corpse and all. Anyway, comma, that wraps up three of our cases. That's right, congratulations, Apollo. And leaves us with one case that's worse than all three put together. Dot, dot, dot. Murder. Okay, salt. And this is Mr. Yeah, I know it's the, I know. Can we go talk to Mr. Eldoon right now? We gotta go talk to Mr. Eldoon, clearly. You don't have anything to say. And that's totally fine, don't get me wrong. It is, it is fine and it is okay. 25, okay. Uh, never mind that. Mr. Eldoon's house, let's go. Wait, he's not even here? Where did he go? Oh god, what am I doing now? Um, uh, the clinic? Garage? No, nothing, nothing's in the garage. Why are we going to the garage? Let's go ahead and head over to the Write in Anything Agency, and then we can go ahead and go to the hospital. Hickfield Clinic, even. What? Dude, what do you want from me? I don't know what to do next. Present. Um, wh how do, what do you know? You know about this. It's actually a relief to be so thoroughly ignored. Is it? Are we sure? I don't know, man. It's actually a relief to be so thoroughly. <sighs> it's okay. Move again. Dude, why is this game so hard? What do you know about the white powder? How does it taste? You tell me. What's that, Polly? Oh, I know. You want to see a magic trick? No, obviously not. Clavier slash Apollo, good ship. But when I was in high school, I used to make playlists for Clavier Emma. Well, that's awesome. I don't even know the guy yet. Wait, is, can I move further into the crime scene? You saying that just gave me a good idea. Move, hang on, to the people park. And well, like, what if I move again? No. <laughs> can I look to the right? No, absolutely not. Um, like, okay, so if I was supposed to do something right now, I would move. Is there something I should be doing right now that I'm not doing? The People Park, Eldoon's house, right? Chat, help. Help. <coughs> Backseat. I, I need. Can I finally exam. This old woman has been trying to get in for like hours at this point. She's still causing trouble. Look, no one goes in. That means you! Oh, what's the difference? Let me go! Ow, 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 ow! Sorry. That's it, I'm sewing! But I might change my mind for five bucks. What is she, some kind of con artist? I don't know, I wish I could examine this situation. Yeah, there's just, there was just no way. That's it, I'm suing! Oh, she's going to sue, and now that I know that, I can help her out because I'm a defense attorney, you see? Talk to her? How? How do I talk to her? Talk to Emma? Move. Let's go see Emma one more time. People park. Talk. Oh my god. Oh my. The case! Why did I not think to do this? The report came in late last night. The body was found much as you see it now. Except it was a real body. But why? Why was a body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Yeah, definitely not. Who owns a gun? 
in Japanifornia. Like, who would do that? Unless you're a cop or a gangster. Gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Powell Maractus. Wait a second. That's a hospital name. That's... Hmm. I just received the autopsy report, in fact. Maractus autopsy report added to the court filings. I mean, really? What's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off pulling a mysterious noodle stand behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story! I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stand came from. <laughs> it came from Mr. Noodle. <laughs> You're not Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle is eeny, meeny, miny. This one. Take that! Take that! Who's the old guy? This is the uh, proprietor of the Eldoon's Noodles, Mr. Eldoon himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work. Thank you. Noodle stand added to the court record. What sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean, what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? Let me guess. At a hospital? Your story. What, what do you do? Who, me? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky, hmm? I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Oh, were you studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe, AKA studying abroad, you might say. Forensic sciences, mind you. I'm very smart, but when I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs, just like that. I remember, why didn't you just become a forensic expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but I had a lot of favors to repay to people back here. Favors? What did I play, 1-5? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in an incident <sighs> before I left, but Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed them. Really? I had no idea. If she's been out of the country for a while, she probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current erm state of affairs. I think not. I must take this drink for the incident, and then I must also use the restroom really fast. So I shall do that in that order. Here's the one drink that I do owe. I want to take a drink every time they say erm also, but that might be a little bit too much, even for a guy like me. Cheers. Cheers. But I am kind of sitting here saying, Erm, she probably doesn't know about Erm, Mr. Wright's current Erm state of affairs. So who's to say? I'll be right back. Goodbye, chat. Thank you for sticking with me. If you leave, then I understand. Goodbye.
She probably doesn't know about Mr. Right's current firm state of affairs. I don't think so. How would you, even? There's just no way. Have you talked to the man? Have you tried contacting him? Tell me about the defendant. Um, could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kitaki family, yes? Walk- It's fucking walkie-talkie. It's walkie-talkie. I don't know if he's the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around. Violently! In the detention center! Oh, I should probably go there. I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? Hmm. You're a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his by any chance. Uh, actually, well, kind of. Well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. What? Eh? The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Who? Tell me about the victim. Could you tell us about the victim? Well, let's see. Apparently, he's the physician's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is the Murak the Maractus Clinic. Hmm. Maybe that's why the cop car was parked there. What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah. Though on a related issue. I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. What about the pantsu? That's why we found him in the exhaust pipe, right? That's pretty important. I see, so that means... Dr. Maractus stole the stand and pulled it all the way here? That would seem to be the case. But why? Don't ask me! Um, did, uh, did I mention the pantsu? Sorry, I don't know what that means. Do you want me to wear them? I'm not gonna do it. We, more scientific help, but ask me anything you like. Just ask scientifically, you see. Uh, I, this is gonna do nothing for me, is it? No, there's no way. There's just no way. Okay, okay. Can I move further into the park? No, absolutely do not do that. Um, but I can't examine anymore, can I? I've already looked at all the things. That means it's time for me to move to the Kitaki Mansion. And that's time for me to move to the Eldun's house. And that's time for me to move into the Maractus Clinic Garage. No! What? Hmm. This is getting a little bit hard for me. I try to go to all these places. How about the person? No, not you, the other person. She's not here anymore, huh? The cute girl? No, she left. She's she's long gone. Erm? No, you didn't. She really subtly told you to go to therapy. Well, I can't. I, wh wh where's the therapy move option? <coughs> Did I look at the knife? No, I didn't do that. I, I I even acknowledged it too. I was like, why is there a knife here? That's weird. Um, and then I didn't look at it at all. Examine the. Maybe I can look at the trash can too. I bet that's important. It's a knife. A shiv to be precise. Ooh, a lingo. The defendant, Walkie Talkie, is the son of a known gangster. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Huh? Look at this! There's a handprint on the shiv! A handprint? Oh my god, there might be fingerprints, maybe. Let's investigate! Okay. Right, first, choose the fingerprint you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint? Look closely at the handle. I see it! It's probably the one that's the most dark! See? There's more than one fingerprint here. Those black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. This one. Right! Let's get detecting! Wow, she's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some aluminum powder over the print. Just touch the screen, like this, see? The oil left by the print absorbs the aluminum powder, so you just dust it off and flick away any excess. Flick? 
Yeah. Like you're brushing an especially stubborn fop off with your finger. What is a fop? Chat, what is a fop? What does that mean? Oh, wow, amazing. It's like magic. Hee <laughs> hee. No. Science. Right, let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. Okay. Huh? <coughs> oh, I guess I'm just over it right now. Ooh, this is awesome. I am doing detective work. I am like a detective, basically. Is this good enough? I want to make sure I'm covering the whole thing here. Like, we clearly see the outlining of something great. Yeah. Yeah, every everything's going to be fine. That's, that's so clear, it's not even funny. Wait, I haven't... How do I win? Do I keep on dusting? I haven't dusted enough, apparently. Dust it! Dust it, dust it, dust it! So much... Wait, what? Oh, we're getting closer and closer. I see, I see. We gotta dust to, to the over here position. We gotta dust to the over on this side position as well. It's... Everything looks... What am I doing wrong? Blow into your DS cave. Oh! Oh, it's a blow into the DS moment. Oh, well that's silly me. However, I feel particularly out of breath at this point in time, so no. I'm not going to. Uh-oh. Wait, but like then how do you... How do you make the game go? Uh, I've... No, have I not dusted for prints? I feel like there's a pretty good print right there. Right? I think so. Huh. Hmm, good, clear, quite impressive. Uh, now I understand. Adriana said brush it off. Flick? I did... Fl I, did I flicked it. And I flicked it. I should have done that. Like, she literally told me... Whatever. Next, match the thing. The police office uh, has samples, so you can tell whose finger this print belongs to. Hmm, that doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Apollo. Okay, pick the person whose print you think it is. You probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. That's not the right, that's the wrong, no. Was it true? Wait a fucking, hold on. What, Trucy, what did you do? Huh? There's no more hits than that one though. Comparison complete. No match found, it's okay. What about you, my guy? Oh shit. Oh, okay. I think I understand. That's a lot of hits. It's like 14 of them. 16? Match found. So, the fingerprints do belong to the defendant. Yes, isn't it amazing? Ah, uh, the power of science. It's my life. Apollo, she's sparkling. And I'm dimming. <laughs> so true. Look sharp! Spirits up! The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly! The trial hasn't even started and I'm already losing. Knife added to the court record. Okay, that's awesome. Can I present this to you immediately after? Look, present. The defendant's fingerprints were found on that knife. Which means that, at the very least, he was here at the scene of the crime? It's highly possible, maybe. Oh, this doesn't look good. No use worrying about what's out already. You just worry about what's yet to come. Okay. Can, can I move, finally? You don't want to talk about anything. Examine. I can't go to the right. What if I do the move? No, there's nothing I can do for that one. 
Do I go back to the hospital? Like, I found out some stuff, Mr. Wright. Do you want to talk about it? No, not you! That's the wrong right. I mean, uh... The Hickfield Clinic. There we go. Whew, no. Trash, please. Oh, yeah! There were other places that I even said that I would investigate after I looked at the knife, and then I simply never did it. So let me go do that real quick. Uh, Kentucky Mansion. And then I move on into the People's Park. And now I take a gander at the trash can. Nice. There's got to be a good clue or two around here. And you, you and your trash cans, go ahead, knock yourself out. Please, can't you see I'm doing my, huh? Look, another pair of underwear. Wow, Apollo, you're a genius at finding panties. Is it a drink? I don't even know at this point, man. Stop saying that. Wait, these aren't... They're not mine! I hope not. Could these have been stolen too? Bloomers added to the court record. So, have you met the defendant? Uh, yeah, no. Visiting hours are almost over at the detention center. You might think about wrapping up here and heading over. Good idea. I don't know what good it, it, it will do. We have a witness and a knife with prints. Have I mentioned I've got a bad feeling about this? Have, has he? Chat, how many? I don't think he's mentioned this before. This is the first time I'm reading about having a bad, feel, bad feeling. Bad feeling, bad feeling about what? This, this personally me, bad feeling. I love Ace Attorney. Okay. Cheers, by the way. <clears throat> Bad feeling equal drink, question mark. Um, yes. I will take that into consideration and then drink for it. Thank you, VHS for Life 97. I, you, this is your rule now. Don't worry, it's like a right tradition. Some traditions I can live without. You don't say. Let us move. That's the bird chirping in the background sound effect. I remember it from the other video game. That's cool. Where the hell... I mean, I don't know where to go next. Move to the detention... Oh, boy. Here we go. There he is! That's my guy! He is constantly on watch. I love this man. Whoever he is... What's his name? Who is he? Tell me more about him. Where is his trial? I need to know more. This is the ultimate man right there. I'm sorry, meeting hours for the day are all done. I fucking hate this guy. I despise him with every fiber of my being, but we still have three minutes. I'll put in your quest, but don't expect anything. The father's talking in the private room with him. The father? You mean like a priest? I mean the suspect's father, Mr. Winfred Big Wins Kataki himself. Not someone I care to meet. Die, you! You're the one you're on your way out, old. What? Ah, they're here. Oh my god. Whoa, this guy radiates power. How the hell are you squinting super hard to make sure that these things stay on? Logistically, how does it even... This doesn't make even a lick of sense. The glasses? Look at these things. It's... They're just lenses. With a cute apron, too. You walkies lawyer? Yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Win... <laughs> I'm Big Win's Kataki, fourth head of the Kataki family, capiche? Um, actually, I came to speak with your son. Mr. Justice, yeah? My son's innocent. He killed no one. If he were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? Yes, sir. I'm all about capiching. Capiche loud and clear. You got to do more than just understand to make it. You'll learn, though. Even if the lesson comes at the end of your short life. What? Huh? What are you talking about? I don't... I... One might even say that I have a bad feeling about this, but I just... I don't feel good. 
What's the big deal, old man? There he is. It's Naruto. It's him. There he is. This is Naruto Uzumaki. There it is. You can't treat me like a kid no more. Not now. You know, I, I, I want you to go to the clink. I like it in here. You must be walkie. That's me. A G's not a G till he does hard time, bizoy! Do I drink for that one? Maybe. You'll see. When I get out of here, things will change. Silence! Sorry, Daddy. My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. Ha! You can't take me under your wing this time, old man! You heard me! I don't need no trial! I did it! Holy God, I hate this kid already! I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice! Don't let me down tomorrow! No, I feel like it's not even nearly enough for today! So much for talking to our client! But we made so much progress today! We even found my panties! I had fun at least! Of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? Oh, almost forgot, it's time for my show. Tonight, I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. Okay. To be continued, dot, dot, dot. It's only one dot, but you know. Holy moly. This is actually unbelievable. I, I am so unbelievably screwed. June 16th, 946 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby number two. Thanks for watching me play video games on the internet, everybody. Wasn't that fun? Didn't we have a good time? I certainly had a good time. Maybe next uh, Lawyer Friday will continue. Tomorrow is probably going to be more Yakuza Zero. And then the day after that's probably going to be... I wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> felony Friday? We could do a Felony Friday, but it might be uh uh um Thursday something Thursday. Help help chat, help. The um th the the why did you do it Thursday? That's it. All right. Goodbye everybody. I shall stop it now. Goodbye. Thank you all for watching and enjoying. Next time we shall actually go inside of the courtroom. I swear. Turnabout Thursday? Nah, that doesn't really work out. Dark Souls Thursday? Hmm. I do like Dark Souls. Anyway, goodbye. So long. Farewell. Thank you for following. Goodbye. Get out of here. It's done. No more stream for you!